Uh, we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. And our goal for today is... Maybe this is a really lofty ambition, but can we get into Hagen orbit and produce our first utility science packs? Um, I was a bit surprised at the end of yesterday's stream to notice uh, when we looked at it. We actually only need batteries uh, in the rail network in order to have everything we need to get cargo rockets. Well, not counting liquid rocket fuel, but that's hardly a challenge. Uh, so, let's get started with those batteries then. We'll get to jump into the design area. And drop in our usual rail block. Uh, it's literally just iron, copper, and sulfuric acid. I think I checked that yesterday. It was, uh, the last thing we looked at. It's just the same as vanilla. Or maybe the ratios are slightly different with the sulfuric acid or something. But it is basically the same. Uh, so since we have two inputs, we won't be able to use the delivery cannon chest to take from the unloaders because we need to limit uh, one resource or the other going in. We could probably get away with a smaller chest though. In fact, even just one chest is probably enough to be honest. Actually, no it's not because we need two inputs from each side so that we can control what we put in. Unless we use an inserter. Yeah man, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let's start by placing the uh, wide area beacon that we theoretically want to upgrade this to one day. And... Uh, is it... I think it's chemical plants for batteries, isn't it? Chemical plant. Iron, copper, and 20 sulfuric acid. I believe that is the vanilla recipe. Okay, so it's one fluid, two solids in. But the solids are quite slow. Um, we should be able to do a half belt for each resource uh, at all times. And I'm just thinking about the best layout for this. I probably already have designed this layout before. Solids and one fluid in. Sulfur is two fluids in. Plastic? Yeah, probably plastic. Uh, let's have a look. Plastic is just coal and petroleum. Um, we could steal this design. We probably don't need... Well, actually... Yeah, I, I don't think batteries are half as fast as plastic, right? Two plastic per second, 0.25 batteries per second. One coal per second, 0.25 uh, iron and copper per second. So it's half as much input and oh, like an eighth as much uh, output. So we can definitely manage it with these belts. Uh, however, we won't be able to have the input look like this. Um, we'll need to do some split belts. I still haven't decided on the best... Well, I, I haven't come up with uh, a particularly clever... Oh wait, I didn't leave room for beacon here. Can we not do better? There's room for... 
If we did the fluid input on the opposite side of these machines, there'd be room for the wide area beacon. Uh, and as it is, there's room for small beacons. That's a pretty easy change to make. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I feel like there's something clever that I could probably come up with that's a lot more succinct and space efficient if we're doing two outputs from each of these. Actually, what's the max rate? It's only 12 per second for each resource. Um, obviously we could go iron, copper, and then, like, iron, copper, but, that's hardly smaller or prettier than if we use our 2x2 two two box. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll just stick with this for now. Uh, so... Four inputs, you say? Loader, 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 and so on. Oops. And then we need some split belts coming out. Uh, max rate for the whole thing is only one red belt. And it'll probably scale even more favorably with beacons because modules, productivity modules. Uh, But we could probably have one of these here as well. That looks kind of weird, actually. I think we'll go for the bigger container. A 4x? There's no middle that we can put this in, but... We can basically make it look... As if it's symmetrical. Yeah, I think I like this better. Um, so then the question is, what's the most elegant looking way to... to do this? I'm not sure. Uh, we can't mirror that because the pump is in the way. We don't necessarily have to have a pump here. How fast is the sulfuric acid? It's only 240 per second, so I really don't think we need these three pumps here. Uh, which means we could probably do this. Yeah, I think I like that. That's looking pretty neat. That's looking very neat, actually. Also, we could certainly move this up a little bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, we probably could have moved it up another tile. So we could have fit that pump even. Not that we need to. Alright, let's do some testing. Make sure it's all working properly. Get some power first. Uh, lighted substation goes here. We've actually already got power everywhere. Uh, actually, we don't have power for the pumps here. So let's just put that there. I don't know, I feel a bit weird about putting it on top of the bulk unloader, but we do the same thing all the time with the bulk loaders. 
it just doesn't look quite the same. Uh, let's see, we are dropping off iron, that's not iron, copper, sulfuric acid, and we are making in a chemical plant batteries. Iron plate, two train loads, copper plate, and sulfuric acid. Uh, it doesn't get consumed that fast, so I'll just set that to a couple of train loads as well. Okay. And then uh, we need filters on the input belts. I guess this can connect like so. And don't forget to tell LTN what's in this chest as well. Alright, so we're going to go iron less than something. Uh, 256 stacks. Uh, I could have done the math without the calculator, actually. Uh, 126... 12,600 is what would fit for each in this. So let's go 12,500. And we'll do our infinity chests. Iron. Copper. Whoops. That's not quite right. Uh, where can I fit this? Copper and iron. Okay. Uh, and we need filters on this. Iron. Copper. Copper iron. And we need to filter the output as well. Let's do something a bit symmetrical here. Copper from there, iron from there. Fantastic. And we should see once that fills up uh, that we've got the conditions right so that There'll always be room for both resources to go through. Let's get some sulfuric acid. And it looks like it gets to the pipes already. Fantastic. Oh, I think I forgot to... Yep, there we go. Uh, and that's our batteries. And this is not plastic pickup, but battery pickup. This is already correct. This is correct. I think we're done. Just need to make sure it works. It's going to take a moment to fill these up, though. WestyX, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Battery. Uh, so just like with... Uh, what build did we steal this from? Sulf? It wasn't Sulfur. Uh, the other one. Uh, just like the build that we stole this from, uh, with the orientation of the pipes, there's room for basic beacons. Uh, but if we flip the chemical plants around and move the pipes, there'll be room for a wide area beacon instead. Uh, we're going to do snap to grid 8624. Get rid of the cheat items. And I think that'll be it. 
What are you building this blueprint in? Or is it just... Now I have to scroll up. Uh, in editor mode. Dubious hubris. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, basically, this is editor extensions. And there's a mod setting that allows you to have a separate surface in a game. So... You can, al you can also have a separate save with editor extensions that, uh, you know, gives you all the cheat items and everything. Um, that is necessary if you want to mess with, like, rockets and delivery cannons and things with multi-surfaces with space exploration. But in this case, we just have uh, mod settings per player and testing lab is set to something other than off. And it'll tell you, you might want to turn this setting here off uh, with the mouse over here if you don't want to cheat. However, if you accidentally send your bots to the editor lab, uh, you can use this to get it back, as it turns out. Evil Plum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I am the Sky, good to see you again also. Didn't realize it was 2 a.m. already. Hello to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so our goal for today is to get into orbit of Hagen and get some utility science packs. Which, looking at where we're up to, sounds a bit much. But uh, much to my surprise, unless I misread something yesterday... Uh, we actually... Oh, where did I put that blueprint? Did I put it in the book? I don't think I did. Let's go back to the editor. Here it is. Uh, we actually only need batteries, if I'm not mistaken, in the rail network, and then we can make uh, cargo rocket sections. Oh, we might need a thing or two more um, to get the space capsule. Although, we do have a space capsule or two lying around on this planet. Yeah, there it is. Uh, we literally only need one. It's reusable for our purposes right now. Alright, so that block fits here. Is that iron? It is. Can we... Can we mine that iron while the rail loop is already built? I think the answer is probably yes. And we don't need anything but the loop over here. For the moment. Uh, I would like to have this. I don't think there's any... Oh, there is some iron behind here. Uh, we're so close. I, I can't put a miner in here, can I? No. Please. Uh, I suppose... The train wouldn't be able to get to the output. How much, how much iron is it in this little spot? Barely anything? Can we just mine it up? Before we build this. It's going to drive me crazy if I don't. Uh, let's go... Substation. And give it some speed modules. Fantastic. How's our power speaking? Oh, crap. Uh, I think we're out of nuclear fuel. No? No, we've got the nuclear fuel. We've got steam. Oh, good, good, good. This power is just... Running off windmills, that's all. It isn't connected yet. Hello, hello, awesome cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My inventory is full. I have fish as well. Uh, so now our drills should be doing fine. Okay. 20k, 7.6k, and that's with an overlap. Uh, that is going to take a minute. Ugh. 
Well, let's just build our block first. While we wait for that. Uh, we're doing batteries. And I'll be curious to see if a train can get here with that bit of the roundabout missing. I don't think it can. Well, maybe if it came from over here, but that's where the iron is. I could do a little cheeky build like this. I think that might be the way to go. Until we've gotten our iron mine out of there. Do you think me activating Rampant during a playthrough will break my save? Uh, no, but it will... You will pr almost definitely find yourself being attacked immediately in places that you thought were secure or sufficiently far away from uh, the biters that they wouldn't attack. Um, yeah, just expect to get rolled over. Um, but it, I don't think it'll break your save at all. Might dupe my save and try it, by all means. Yeah, I loaded, I had a save that I loaded once where the save wasn't from when I had Rampant, and I forgot I had Rampant active. Uh, suffice to say, after a few minutes, there were a lot of attack notifications. So we need LTN train stops and chemical plants. Uh, maybe some pipe. And that's about it. Let's go over here so the bots take our stuff. Sulfur completely saturated. Make a backup save nonetheless. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't suppose the pipes and... I don't think we have chemical plants here. Uh, the train stops will be handy if I want to handcraft some LTN stops. Let's do that. Same goes for the lights I should have picked up. How many logi bots do we have here? 49. Oh, they're all taking from here. Oh, I forgot I had red belt production here. Well, that helps. Nope, I am not here. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glad to have you not here, I guess. Uh, I need chemical plants, which are definitely not here, but they should be over here. Chemical plants, we have 41. Fantastic. How many do we need? We require 46, but that's more than 41. Okay, let's go pick up all of those chemical plants, plus the five that I'm crafting in my hand. And head over to our build. Definitely not here. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, no, we don't have chemical plants at this old little lazy bot mole thing. That we're trying to get away from. Somewhat. Uh, here's our train stop. So LTN should be bringing the goods in less than two seconds. Wow. Uh, all three resources are already on their way. 
or at least the trains are heading to the pickup stations for all three resources. That's impressive. Most impressive. If there was more room for signals, I would probably have these connections here as well. I'm pretty sure... As, uh, I don't know, would that corner mess it up at all? Maybe that should be part of the uh, design. No, I don't think we need more pathing for the trains to worry about, actually. Schrodinger's viewer? Bilbo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So now this was the starter base, so you just moved to a new planet? Yes. Absolutely. It has many advantages and a couple of disadvantages. Like, solar power really, really sucks here. So we can't... We can, but it's not very effective to just spam solar panels. Um... We do have nuclear power, so that's not too much of an issue for the moment, but because we don't have cover X yet, it will be an issue if these uh, bulk rail loaders fill up. By the way, what is the mod that gives those train loaders? It is called Bulk Rail Loader. Fantastic, there's our batteries. Alright, so we should have everything we need now for uh, cargo rocket sections, which is the main headache in building cargo rockets. So let's do that. How do we make cargo rocket sections? Assembly machine? And we won't have access to the fancy recipe. So it's got to be this one. Maybe instead of training cargo rocket sections this time, we'll build them on the spot. I definitely want to minimize the use of cargo rockets uh, and get away from them as soon as I can, but it, yeah, I think it would definitely be good not to have trains moving stack size one items around. Especially when it'll take two and a half train trips to launch one rocket. Um, so let's work backward from our conclusion here. Argo rocket uh, silo. Oh, we can't use the editor to design this. Um, at least not with the extra surface in a normal game. We'd need to jump to another save for that. Cargo rocket section requires LDS. We can drop off LDS and Heat Shield directly because we're having that delivered from Nalvis. Uh, and we're not having any trouble with throughput from those at all. Uh, rocket Control Unit. Should Rocket Control Unit be in the rail network, actually? I did do it last time. Atomic Bomb, Explosive Turret Rocket, GPS Satellite, Miklet, Talem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Asteroid Belt Probe, yeah, I think we should have rocket control units in the rail network, even if they do only stack to 10. But the volume at which we consume them is fairly small. Um, I might even... I might just use small trains for rocket control units. Mm. 
We can always expand it to be bigger, I guess. Uh, all right, does that mean we need to design rocket control unit first? We could do this one first. So, rail network, rail network, rail network, cargo pod, rocket fuel tank. I think those are one-to-one -one ratio, right? Cargo pod, rocket fuel tank, exact ratio. And then we need red circuit is in the rail network, steel plate is in the rail network, Fast inserter, oh my goodness. Fast inserter is not in the rail network. Um, I do have it coming out of the autocrafter, but I don't have it going to a train station. I could just do that to be lazy. We need one cargo pod per cargo rocket section. So not counting recycling, we need 200 fast inserters for one cargo rocket. That's not actually that much. Fraser K, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, pumps, storage tanks, pipes are not in the rail network. Uh, iron plate is, but not iron chests. So what's our, what's our count of things that we'd want to bring in by train? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, definitely turn iron plate into pipe. Storage tank and pump is, uh, how do we make it in this version of the game? Iron beam and iron plate. I think we'll make that locally out of iron. And pump means we need small electric motors. That's a lot. So... So pump adds one more. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine different drop-offs. Um, we can fit eight train loads of stuff in bulk rail unloaders. So we could just add a station here for the rocket control units. And that should be sufficient. Ideally, I'd like to fit this in a quarter block so that we could have four cargo rockets, um, like so. Uh, we can easily have a, a fuel drop-off here as well. Hey, first time viewer, welcome. Uh, free, free beer Freddy. Why all the wind power? They produce so little power. Uh, but they add up, and we're just putting them in places where they're, they're not taking up their own space, if that makes sense. They're not in the way or anything. And if it gets to the point where UPS is an issue, it's not a big problem to get rid of them. But I, I don't imagine a device just sitting here producing power unconditionally is costing that much power. Solar panels don't cost... Uh, uh, UPS, rather. Solar panels are actually quite UPS cheap as well. Also, we're on the ice planet, which is as far as we can get without going to the asteroid belt from the sun. So... Solar panels are not really that much of an option here. Um, but they do, they do supplement our other power sources. Uh, 
they tend to pay for the idling cost of all of our rail blocks. And then some. Okay, so if we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if we have a drop off here, or uh, rocket control units. And over here we're going to have heat shield LDS, advanced circuit, iron, fast inserter, steel plate, that's six. Uh, we already did advanced circuit. That's actually only seven. Yeah, I think I counted advanced circuit twice earlier. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we need, uh, uh, because we need small electric motors to make the pumps. Okay. This is going to be a little tricky to test, I guess. Uh, we can fit exactly eight train loads of stuff. Uh, 320 over 40 over here. So if we're doing seven train loads in this area and rocket control units over here, we should have some slack. That's without adding any more containers, uh, which we are... Probably going to have to do. Um, I wish these had infinite filters. Not ready for electric biters. <laughs> oh no. Ripperoni. Good luck. Alright, so what are our resources? Heat shield LDS. Um, I, I hate that they sh separated heat shield and LDS. They should always go together. Rocket control unit is going to go over here. That one isn't going to have to worry about overfilling the chest. Uh, advanced circuits, iron plate, uh, fast inserters, let's just put these here for now, steel plate, and small electric motors. Let's just organize those a little bit. And for the testing I need to... let's get rid of the fluid. Let's just assume we'll have that. Uh, how about this? And we're going to have to put some conditions on these. Wait, what? I said whitelist. How dare you. I'm just going to set the inserters to only put in a stack of each type. Uh, so this is less than... let's just put less than a hundred for everything. Be a bit easier. Advanced circuit. Iron plate. Steel. Uh, fast inserter. And 
of course. Small electric motor. Oh, we need blacklist nothing. Okay. So that'll give us enough to output from each of these. And mirror that. Connect the red wire. Okay. So we have our test input now. Nuke biters exist, indeed they do. Although you won't see them for a little while, unless your save is a bit older. Um, we're going to need to make iron chests for this thing. And the rest is straight from here. We're going to need to make three different things for this. Pipe. Storage tank. That means we need to make iron beams. Uh, should, do we ever put iron beams into the rail network? That would mean one more thing we have to bring here. We're already at uh, four, five, six, seven, and that's a bit much. Unless we add another container, which we might do. Uh, let's move that down a bit. One, two, three. Actually, this will only give us four filters. I'm, I think I'll use inserters for this and give it some circuit logic. Uh, we'll use stack filters and subtract what's in this chest. Could I actually... What's the overall throughput of all this? It should be super slow, right? Yeah, it's going to take a while to make a cargo rocket, but for our current purposes, this is fine. Um... Hectic, I'd cry if that happened. <laughs> Once you see the screen flash and you don't know why, yes you do. That's a nuke biter somewhere. Uh, iron beam. How many things does this go into? Turret, biolab, crusher, greenhouse, loader, shelter, wind turbine, electric pole... Refined concrete, storage tank. Okay, I don't think this is going into anything that uh, is going to be consumed at scale, like going into research. So we'll definitely make iron beams on the spot. Which is good because in this instance we really don't want another resource that we have to add. I'm a little sad that the biggest container we have only has, at least on both sides, only has one stack inserter. Um, able to see it. How many stacks is this? 512. It's bigger than this. Um, or I could maybe hmm I don't like it I don't like how this fits together We 
You could always do it like this, I guess. Give it some uh, circuit logic. We are going to subtract what is in the big chest from a list from a constant combinator in order to set filters. Constant combinator. Did you make the rail grid or uh, you use or did you download it? I made it myself. Alright, this is going to go here and this will go here and this will go here and this will go here. And green wire is going to connect all of these to LTN. We're going to do each times negative one output each. And this is going to say how much is supposed to be in the chest for each resource. So if we set each of these to 50, oh, one stack. For example, Remolak, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, why are we not? Oh, because we haven't got set filters whitelist on these stack inserters. Set filters whitelist and. It doesn't have to be precise, that's good enough. Although, it looks like we're going to take... Oh wait, these should have had... Near side. Uh, it looks like we're going to take from this side pretty unevenly, actually. Yeah, that's going to get messed up. Uh, it didn't look that good anyway. Why don't we just put a big chest here and do the same thing. Uh, let's see, red wire, green wire. Actually, we could make that green. Set filters whitelist. Arithmetic combinator. Constant combinator. Red wire goes here. Multiply contents of chest by negative one. Uh, and I should have kept that constant combinator. There we go. We should get a nice even take from both sides this way. And we can just set these constants much higher. Um, they will over supply compared to our constant combinator here, but I don't care. was going to ask where you got it, trying to find one, and yours looked nice. Thank you. Um, I don't remember if I've added it to Factorio Prints. I think someone did ask for it, but I've definitely got it on the Discord in the Blueprints channel. Yeah, I like this a lot better. That looks pretty good. Alright, so... I don't suppose... Uh, eight. I don't think we can fit eight machines around this, can we? We actually can. And 
and maybe I'll do that. Uh, I was going to say we can't get them to direct insert to each other, but if we instead give them all some logic to not add too many of something, um, that'll be enough. Thanks, you're welcome. Yeah, I think we'll... We, we kind of already did this, actually. Uh, we did something very, very similar back on Nalvis. Now that I think about it. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. We are going to have... Hmm, could I maybe... There's no middle. I can't put the three things I want on this side. Let's just put cargo rocket section down here. And it's prerequisites over this side. And then we'll put... Uh, let's just remove these from the equation as we go. Wait, what's this? Pump. This is pump. Okay. Uh, how about pipe? Pump. Uh, iron beam and iron chest. Okay. So input, nice and easy. Oh, we need two tiles of this facing the big chest. Um, can I move these up a tile? Let's get rid of our little testing thing here. Oh, we actually can't. Uh, we're actually so close to a really nice build here. Painfully close. Wait, no, we don't have to put anything... We don't have to put cargo rocket sections back in. So it's just pumps that are a bit of a problem here. Uh, what if... That doesn't quite work. That doesn't quite work. I mean, I could do this. I don't love it, but it works. It's not the best look. Hmm. Feed one directly into the rocket section. That's a good point. Uh, it would have to be... Cargo pod or rocket fuel tank. Oops. Um, if one of these was here, that can keep up, right? Yeah. Except that's like still got tiles exposed to this, so that's not actually helping anything. Oh, what about... No, that's not right. We need the heat shield and LDS from here. I mean, I could just add another container, but that kind of ruins the whole thing. Pink pajamas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pipe. Well, the thing is, I can't quite see... Oh, wait, wait, wait. If cargo rocket section was here, and this was down here... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. 
And I've forgotten iron chest is what we're missing. Okay. Feels weird putting iron chest up here. Like, we've got all our fluid things over here. We had our cargo rocket things over here. But it'll just have to do. But that still leaves... That, that doesn't actually solve the problem, because we're not putting cargo rocket sections back in here. Hmm. Is there a different layout of the assembly machines that I'm missing? I don't really think so. We're looking for eight. This is only six. Uh, it would probably start with this. That's two tiles exposed. That's the minimum. And we can't get three on that side. This is only six. You could use cargo wagons. Oh, that would be... <laughs> that would be a little bit... Beyond what I want to do aesthetically. Um, whoops. I mean, I really could just have the pump turn a corner. It feels bad, but it'd work. I like that a little bit better. It does make sense to put the cargo... Which thing takes the pump? It is rocket fuel tank. What if we put these down here? Pump goes here. Oh, is this it? Did we do it? Maybe? I think we might have done it. We got IO for these four. Pump goes straight into rocket fuel tank and nowhere else. Uh, we only need one to one for that. And the rest is... Yeah, this is fine. I could do that, but it's less... Well, it's less symmetrical one way or the other. Unless we have a gratuitous inserter. I think this makes it a bit clearer that this is only output. Yeah, I like that. Okay then. Uh, why are we not seeing advanced circuits in here? Because I didn't ask for them yet. Advanced circuits. Uh, what are we missing? Just the blue things. And inserters. Fantastic. Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing this to start with, but we ended up needing a 6x6 six six if we're going to use the direct insertion with the stack filter inserters. And keep it even. And then next thing you know, we're doing this uh, octagon build. 
JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yorubu, welcome, welcome also. You do things you need in one copy, for example, a chest in the side lower machines and transfer them to lower machines. Uh, yes. Are we positive ratio on all of this? We are, except for iron beams. Um, we could throw in some speed modules. Or we could just accept that we're going to bottleneck on the iron beams. Uh, speed ones I've already got on me. How fast does this go? 0 0.5 out of 1.2, that's nowhere near good enough. Uh, how about... How about this? Uh, that's actually almost perfect. And we could do speed 2s if we really care. But this is super easy to do at the moment. And then rocket control units are going to come from over here. And that'll be our cargo rocket sections. So then I would like to have a cargo... Uh, cargo rocket. Preferably in such a position that a pipe connecting to a fluid wagon up here, oh, not the fluid wagon, but the fluid storage up here, uh, is going to be conveniently going directly into the cargo rocket. And it looks like... looks like that's going to line up beautifully. We'll do... I was going to say we'd do a steel chest. Um, for the cargo rocket silo. Which we can, but that'll only be half of a cargo rocket that we can stack up ahead of time. Um, I don't mind if this is slow, but, like, overall, but I want it to be ready when we need it, even if we need it, like, a couple of times in a row sort of thing, relatively. Um, I could just add more chests here. It would be ideal if we could somehow fit bigger chests, but can't really do that. I guess we'll just do it like this. We're going to need some logic on the inserters that put things back into... Let me just turn these around. Uh, back into this big warehouse. It's not right. Well, if we control the input or the output, it'll have the same effect, plus or minus one. But this is more... whoops. What I had in mind. Alright, so if iron chest less than 50... If iron beam less than a hundred, it is a hundred, right? Yep. Actually, I, I want to accumulate a bunch of iron beams, uh, since they're going to be slower. So let's say less than a thousand. Or just move the silo down one. Uh, that's true, we could do that.
Does the silo still fit in the quarter block? Oh yeah, easily. Yeah, that's going to be pretty easy to do. Uh, I think I would like this better. Uh, we can fit 96 here, which is almost one rocket. I think I would rather... Uh, fit multiple rockets of cargo rocket sections there. So, cargo rocket goes here. And we do still have a couple of tiles to spare with our underground pipe. I could also put a large storage tank right here for the rocket fuel if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put a much larger uh, rocket fuel storage here. And for the purposes of this build, I'm not even going to worry about the space capsule. We'll just bring it manually. Alright, uh, I actually kind of like that. Let's put some substations, get rid of the testing input, uh, put this here before we build over it. We'll need some pumps for the fluid wagons. Uh, let's see. Cargo rocket silo. I could do an absolutely ludicrous amount of storage. We've already got 200k up here, actually. Considering it was like 50k and then some to go from Nalvis to Nalvis orbit. Nervous radius is 5692. Uh, it's pretty much like about 57,000 to go from Nervous to orbit. So it's probably about 38,000 to go from Hagen to Hagen orbit, which means one huge storage tank is going to be way more than enough storage. Um, so I won't, I don't think I'll bother adding another storage tank here. Uh, substations are going to go somewhere like this. And... Not a whole lot of room for this one. This and this. And... I'm not going to reuse this, so I think we'll just copy-paste that corner. And question is where we're going to put it. How about here? It's going to be upside down, upside down, but I don't really see that as a problem. We should have room for the cargo rocket silo. Right about here. You can very clearly see that that's where the pipe goes in. And... Yeah. I think I like that. Need a spot to call the capsule. Yeah, I, I'm not going to bother calling the capsule. I'm just going to put it in manually. That's what this build is for. Just to have our rocket to go to... Uh, go to space so that we can build. This is going to be our personal rocket, basically. Um, but automatically resupplied, except for the capsule. What am I looking for? Oh, we do have one. Fantastic. Let's go grab it. Uh, for the cargo rockets that are going to regularly... I wish this would last a bit longer. Can we fix that? 
Settings, mod settings, factory search. Um, how about search? Do we not have any settings for factory search? Or is this a per player thing? Factory search. Highlight duration. Exactly what I'm looking for. That didn't feel like 12 seconds. Let's make it 30. Clear highlights when closing interface. Okay, let's try keeping that open indefinitely until I close the interface. Let's see what that looks, looks like. Okay, so then I... And then it's gone. Okay. If What if I do this? I think I like that better. And close. Oh. Where's our build? Up this way? Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Well welcome. Hope you're doing well. I believe the settings search does not actually find headlines, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, we also need a 4 by warehouse. And we're not going to summon any trains just yet because I haven't finalized um, the settings for these inserters. We also don't actually have uh, rocket control units in the rail network just yet. Rocket control unit. Uh, 400 is one train load. I don't think we need to worry too much about a buffer for that. Rocket control unit requester going into cargo rocket silo. Is there a symbol for the player? Not with this mod set. Uh, sure. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go get some steel and concrete, and also steel and concrete. Fair enough. So that we can handcraft these things. And steel... And then a four by. If you think about it, the pistol is a player symbol. Indeed. It's a player death symbol. Uh, let's go with... I thought I had speed ones. I must have put them in my trash slots. I did put them in my trash slots. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this for the factory search. Not having the arrow disappear until we get our stuff. Uh, I only need four. Oh, you can pin it? I mean, it seems like it was already staying open. Right then. Uh, let's say... I actually think just having a stack of each of these in here... is probably fine. These machines are pretty slow. Uh, and these are all the things that need to summon over here. 
Alright, so 1k for the beams though, because they are slightly slower than the rest of these machines. Um, cargo pod. Uh, less than 10. Less than 10. Don't need a control on that one. Less than 15. And less than 100. Okay. Let's summon our stuff. We're also going to need fluid. It was liquid rocket fuel. Uh, okay, so heat shield. What's the train load size? 4,000. We're summoning seven different things here, and we've got room for 8k, uh, eight train loads in the bulk rail unloaders, so we don't want to go over by much. Um, so we'll just say like... 4,200. Or the stack size 50 things. Uh, which is to say blue things as well. And fast inserters. Iron plate. It's going to be double that. Whoa. Okay. Spicy. And advanced circuit. Uh, sixteen If you think about it... Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that you can control shift on any item and it will find it. Serious. Control... Control shift? Oh, control click. No, control shift click. Oh, that's amazing. That's cool. Can it do that when things are on the ground? It can. Very nice. Uh, and last but not least, we need liquid rocket fuel. Uh, say 100k. And let's just... Let's just put cargo... Rocket silo for the station name. Oh, and this should be train size 3. Alright, so now we need to build a rocket control unit. And we need to shove fast inserters into the rail network. Um, and that's actually it. Oh, uh, liquid rocket fuel. Also, also, there should be some logic on this. Cargo rocket section less than 100. Get it done. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's so good, the control shift click indeed. If you ever need fast inserters before going to space, you know where to find them. Uh, indeed, you can find them right here. It's one of the things that the auto crafter has relative ease making. I'm just going to steal from the auto crafter. I could even probably do rocket control units this way, but we'd have to summon batteries anyway, so we won't do that. It's nice and close to the mall as well. I guess I could have done it in the same block as the mall. That would 
probably make a lot of sense. Too late. Uh, okay. So, train stop. Right about here. And we're just gonna put... Well, first of all, we need one of these. Some signals. Perfect fit. And all we're going to do here is filter inserter. Steal some fast inserters. Wait, what? How weird is that? The soft search. I typed in FSAT. It found fast transport belt, but not fast inserter. Huh. Uh, I guess we could do a filter loader, even. Fast inserter... And take the steel. And I'll actually limit this. Because we don't want eight train loads of fast inserters here. Uh, let's say fast inserter. Less than... Is it 4k? Which is actually quite a few for the autocrafter to make, but I'm lazy. Fast transport? Wait, what? Log logistic autocrafter is cool. Is there a way to tell it to only build the demand from the constant combinators? If I request a bunch of stuff to fill my rocket, it tries to help and craft that too. That's a bit annoying. Uh, yeah, so... I'm guessing what's happening is... So normally the constant combinators of positive value I have as the things we're trying to make. Uh, and I tend to read from the robot network instead of this giant chest um, to check what we've already got. If you are reading from the robot network, if you're really low on something and the bots are moving it around, it'll actually give you a negative signal, um, which can confuse things a bit. So what you might want to do is the first thing that the signal coming from the robot network goes into is each has to be greater than zero output each. It's all on the same big logistic network. Um, so does that sort of answer your question or, or am I barking up the wrong tree? Uh, we've got how many fast inserters here? 500. So we're already an eighth of the way. Um, not counting these fast inserters. We're already an eighth of the way to having enough for our cargo rocket. Uh, let's make a build for rocket control units. And excuse me a sec while I hydrate. Excuse 
so four inputs, right? Very cold glass. There's probably heat shield LDS. There is not. Battery, glass, advanced circuit, iron plate. We've got all of these in the network, thank goodness. Let's just build that to fit one big old beacon. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be slow enough that we can just do a very ordinary belt layout. We're going to need two belts of input. Um, I've probably got a build that I could copy this from, actually. Let's see. Uh... This is both heat shield and LDS. Goes into heat shield and or LDS. One, two, three. One, two, three. Never mind. Let's, let's just continue with this. Won't take that long to build. Right, so output is going to look like this. Uh, yellow inserters should be more than sufficient for this kind of build. Let's just copy this like so. Long arm inserters like this. Oh, wait. I always fall for that part. I love the fact that you're using wide area beacons and T2 assemblers. Uh, we're building it so that we can upgrade it easily later on. That's why. We're just fitting it to a wide area beacon for later. Uh, I think we should do the inputs down the middle again. So inputs are going to be here. Output is going to be here. That's actually sticking over the edge. So we might move that over a little bit. Say one more tile. Oh wait. Uh, how can I? Here we go. See exactly where that goes. It's still in the middle. Uh, we're gonna use a delivery cannon chest. This could definitely just be a red belt. In fact, I'm sure a yellow belt would be sufficient for this. And yellow inserters. Um, so we're going to have... Input like so. And three belts for output. And it definitely doesn't need to be blue belt. that around. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Fixed it. Just have to put those items with an additional negative 100 or so on the constant combinator. There you go. To, to make it so that the bots moving the stuff around doesn't reach a threshold. I'm guessing. Can this fit through here? I hate that that's one off. How dare you. Okay. And then we just have to manage our inputs. Oh, I forgot. We're not able to leave room for small beacons this way. It's probably fine. Probably. Uh, let's do a 4x chest, like so. Actually, I think I'll put it here. One, two, three. We've got four inputs, right? So we can go one, two, three, four. Uh, battery, advanced circuit, glass, and iron plate. Iron plate. And just enough belt here to allow the... I like that that happens to line up as a, like a square, though. Uh, but just enough belt to allow connecting wire to the belt. So that we can manage the input. You can always squeeze small beacons in. Uh, I guess if we used extra small beacons, we'd need 50% more small beacons than usual um, to cover all of these. But maybe that's not so bad. Or we could just beacon the middle ones. That looks weird. Okay. Uh, we are looking for glass, iron plate, battery, advanced circuit, uh, and it is going into an assembly machine to make rocket control units. No fluids this time. Battery stacks to what in this version? 200. Uh, so two train loads would be 32k. And... Glass. Wait, what was the other thing here? Battery advanced circuit. Glass iron plate. Oh, we just did... Yeah, no, no. Advanced circuit 32k, glass, and iron plate will be 16k. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Burgers and fries. Can you explain how a memory cell works? Sure. Uh, so in Factorio, uh, the thing that makes a memory cell a bit counterintuitive, okay, not a bit, a lot counterintuitive uh, to a newbie's eye um, is we're basically just connecting it to itself. And the reason that works is when we get a signal going into a combinator, 
it takes one tick, or one sixtieth of a second if the game is running at normal speed, for it to take that input, do something with it, and start spitting out an output. But it takes exactly zero ticks for a signal to travel any distance across a circuit wire. So if we have... Um, let's just do something uh, unconditional here. We're going to go if everything... If anything is not equal to zero, output everything input count. And then I'm going to give it an input. Don't worry too much about how I do that for now. Um, Alright, so we've stopped giving it an input, but we were giving it an input for a bit there. Uh, we've got 108W. So what's happening here is it gets an input of 108W. One tick later, it outputs 108W. And that same tick... Uh, that information instantly travels back to its input, and then next tick, it's going to output 108W. So basically it is a circle, but it's the smallest circle that we can make. This is how a real-life memory cell works too. I'm guessing there's some diversity in how they work, but I'm not a computer scientist. Uh, but yeah, I could believe that. Stream was great. Finally have a my infrastructure in place. Fantastic. But it's mildly late here, so raid and run. Fair enough. Thanks for the raid, Burgess. Take care. How do you get rid of the W? Uh, so what I can do here is... Uh, if W reaches some value and we want it to reset... We could have a condition, like, if W is less than 109, we'll keep outputting the input count. Or we could beat it negative 108W for just one tick. And the way to do that is with what is called a pulse generator. Uh, a pulse generator just takes a constant signal and turns it into a signal that just outputs for one tick. Uh, and how we do that is pretty simple actually. We feed a signal to both of these at the same time. This one outputs the negative of that signal one tick later. Uh, so this, the input will still be going constantly. So one tick after it receives an input it's going to be receiving the positive of that signal and the negative of that signal, which will cancel out. Um, Factorio just doesn't pass a signal through if you get a zero value. So this is times negative one, this one. And this is just set to each greater than zero output each uh, input count. You can also do negatives if you want to, um, but I haven't found a way to do both positives and negatives through a pulse generator. Uh, so if we connect that to our memory cell and we say 108, uh, sorry, negative 108W, and we connect this and turn this constant combinator on for any amount of time, but just one tick, uh, this thing will output negative 108W and I changed that, I didn't, I changed that back to positive, didn't I? So we're going to make this one negative. Uh, so you can, I'll, I'll slow time down actually. So as much as possible you can try to see that the lights will flicker on and off as these combinators do things. Uh, you can see it sort of propagates through there. Um, so now we've got still 108, what? Negative 108W, each times negative 1 output each, each less than 0 output each. That should give us a pulse of negative 108. Let's do a step through. So, 
constant combinator is not outputting. I'm going to turn it on. It is now outputting negative 108W. One tick later, both of these are receiving negative 108. Uh, one tick after that, this is doing positive 108. This is doing negative 108. So the input signal for this one is nothing because those two cancel out. And then it's outputting negative 108. And next tick, it should be outputting nothing, which it is. Oh, and it's worked. Um, maybe I accidentally gave this an extra 108 a minute ago. So that was actually 216 minus this twice. Do you have blueprints for these? Uh, yes. Um... I think I've put my circuit blueprints on Factorio prints. Uh, if not, uh, I can certainly do so. This feels like when I try to do a live programming session, indeed. Kappa Beast, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The signal is no longer there to be counted. Uh, I'm not sure where that was. El Pancho, welcome, welcome also. Uh, so did I catch everything in chat? I think I did. So is that clear as mud, or do we have questions? Oh, let's fix our game speed. There we go. Uh, I think... I think we've set things up so that our input will work. We've got 256 stacks. Uh, let's say 60 stacks per resource. So... 60 times 200... 12,000 for batteries. Same goes for advanced circuits. Uh, iron and glass are going to be 6,000. And put that here as well. Alright, and then for our testing, it'll be fine if we just shove all of these things in like so. I don't think the circuits book is in that link, but I might be blind. Uh, it's possible it's not. I'm happy to add it. Um, let's see. Circuits. Export to string. Let's jump to Factorio prints real quick. Um... No, I have the crafting combinators in there. Okay, create. Oh, it usually does something weird when I hit create the first time. Create, there we go. Let's do a little snip of... Uh, the circuits book. And circuits book. All right. I need to copy the blueprint string. This might make things cry for a second. And tags, let's say circuit. Uh, counter, I guess. And 
Just a lot of circuits. Book will have no name. Wait, what will have no name? Some blueprints in the book have no name. That's fine. Okay. There it is. Is this map editor a mod? Yes, it is. Editor extensions. Does a setting to toggle a testing lab while in the regular game? Yeah. You just need to go into the mod settings for that. Alright, we're soon to find out if our chest limiter is working properly. Um, but before we do... Let's see... One belt should be enough for the whole thing. Even if it was twice as fast. But we need to do some splits. And opposite on this side. I don't suppose we could... not really. Alright, so let's do a splitter like this. And... Might be easier this way. That's going to look a little budge, but it's fine. Really? Really? Uh, that looks sketchy as hell. I guess I can live with this. Yeah, that's not too bad. Good thing we don't need that much throughput. I just want to keep the W for, say, five seconds after it goes. Uh, you could do a decider combinator that says, uh, if, let's say, R for reset equals zero, output everything input count, and you could have a timer that gives it the R for reset. That's one way you could go about it. That's why I use decider combinators for memory cells. You can use arithmetic combinators. Um, so just each times one output each. But this will always be unconditional. Uh, with the decider combinator you can decide, no pun intended, uh, whether it will continue to hold on to... Uh, the information. All right. I think I see every single machine working. Very, very good. I think that's our build. Oh, how full is this? Perfect. I'm happy with that. Alright, so we want a rocket control unit provider. I think we already set up this requester. Cool, I'll check out your prints. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Always happy to help with that. And let's get some substations in here. Uh, oh, that actually just barely 
fits, kind of. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, Matovidlo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I missed, uh, Loki. Thank you for the follow also. Sorry, I was caught up in explaining circuits, I think it was. I had to recover the Windows installation and I thought it would keep the softwares because I asked if it wanted to keep my files. It removed all the software. I lost my blueprints. Oh no. All my circuits are gone. One I had was Schmidt Trigger that I used a lot. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that, Medino. Yeah, back up your files, everyone. Am I correct in assuming you design your LTN around always delivering a full train load? Uh, almost always, yes. Definitely when, when you see these bulk rail unloaders, uh, we're not doing anything but a full train load. Um... We'll be using inserters to put things into trains when when we want a specialized load. Oh, we've got no power here right now. That's why it's not moving. Or it's barely moving, rather. Okay, I th think we are good. Let's blueprint. Rocket control units. There is blueprint sync to Steam Cloud. Still don't understand why Factorio doesn't save the blueprint on the cloud. Apparently the Steam version does. Yeah, do you have the Steam version? I don't, but most people do, I think. 8624 is our snap to grid. Let's put this in... Uh, where should I put it? I want it close to Meat Shield LDS. I should rearrange this a little bit. Okay, and where would be good to build our rocket control units? Glass advanced circuits, uh, heat shield, no wait, what were the inputs? Iron plate, battery, where did we put batteries? Oh, we didn't actually build batteries yet, did we? Right? I think we only designed it? Okay. No, wait, this is batteries. Okay, 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 okay. I should have turned on the recipe icons for a sec there. Easy to forget as Steam user, there's different ways of getting the game. Yeah, I, uh, I'll always go for the DRM-free version if I can. All right, uh, so considering the inputs of batteries, glass, iron plate, advanced circuit, I think here would be a good spot for our rocket control units. It's also nice and close to the mall. Uh, speaking of which, let's bring some concrete. Tell I haven't run Factorio today until the stream. There we go. No, 
No, I ran out already. Rip concrete. We need a four by which means we need which means we need concrete. Damn it. Give me fifty concrete. And there's already a train coming. I forgot to remove the cheat items from the blueprint. That's easily remedied. That's the wrong blueprint. There we go. And we don't need our beacon yet. Need more rail. I think it's already functional, despite the... Oh, we've actually got enough rail. Uh, and what's this? Yellow inserters. How many do we have? Zero. Why do we always seem to have zero yellow inserters? Well, that's our iron anyway. Uh, do we at least have burner inserters so that we can easily handcraft the rest? Yes, we do. But only 31. Oh no. Uh, let's drop off the stone. Do you always use the higher tier module, or you have a module tier you normally use? I tend to upgrade everything with higher tier that I unlocked. Uh, last playthrough, I didn't bother like making new builds or using new modules until I got to like a multiple of three tier. So I went from zero to three to um, to six. LTN manager. Put the game direct, then got Steam key for easy install. Oh, I didn't realize I could have it on Steam as well. Uh, yeah, be careful with LTN manager if you're using editor extensions. Uh, if you're using the lab in a playthrough like this, then LTN Manager will actually crash the game. Learned that one the hard way. Give me some more yellow inserters. Don't think this will be enough. But we can get something functional at least. That's the wrong build. Uh, we actually got it done. Now we need some long arms. Never mind. How many long arms are we short? No pun intended. We need one stack of long arms. I don't suppose we have that already. We actually do. I should probably set the limits higher on the inserters. Okay, and now we're just waiting on advanced circuits. Do we have those yet? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I did a fucky wucky. That does not go there. And it's literally just this. I just forgot to remove that. We have like a train load and a half of copper cable. Um, how about shift C? Drop this in here. I don't think that's enough. And we drop this off. Not really. 
Not with shift C anyway. It's actually full. Let's just put the copper cable in the auto crafter. That'll sort it out. And one more trip. And then we got to find out why we don't have red circuits. Because we don't have electronic components. Why don't we have electronic components? Because we don't have glass. Really. But we... We're full on glass. What? Did we not request glass at the red circuit build? We did not re I mean, wait. Uh, electronic components build. We're definitely requesting glass. Oh, stack size is 200. Uh, 200 times 80 is 16k, so it's not meeting the threshold. So this should be 24,000. Well, there's your problem. Train should be coming to pick up the glass in about two seconds. There we go. And it is... I love this naming convention. We can see immediately that it's going to make uh, electronic components with this glass. Guten Morgen, Jay. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you mean open manager in lab or just open it anywhere? Just open it anywhere. Yeah, I actually uh, pressed, I think it's control T. Uh, yep, control T. When my muscle memory was looking for something else. And that crashed the game out of nowhere. Let's get some concrete over here. It's a bit bright. Especially since I need to replace a light bulb. Uh, great. That's not enough. Let's shove my stuff. Actually, put my stuff in here. Except for some rocket fuel. Give me the concrete. Fantastic. We should probably set up an actual concrete build on this planet as well. All in good time. Are we actually going to fill two blocks? Or most of two blocks in one trip? Uh, yes we are. That's better than expected. So this is now your main base, indeed it is. How much concrete do we have left? 23k. Uh, are we still getting concrete from Nalvis? Is everything okay? It very much is. We're just bottlenecking um, on power from Nalvis. So I've got the requester over here set to only deliver every minute. Actually, we doubled that earlier when we found that Nalvis was having no power problems. Um, judging from this, I th think we can probably afford to double it again. Maki, thank you very much for the resub. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 14 months. Good evening from Futureland. But I live in future land, so it's present land, I guess. Right? Is that how that works? Speaking of which, my phone actually uh, 
maliciously, sneakily changed the time on me earlier today. Uh, it, cha it changed my time to Sydney. Uh, but the bonus from that was I kind of gained an hour that I didn't, that I wouldn't otherwise have planned for. So that's nice. I live in future, future land. Were you in... Oh, I, you know what? I don't want to guess wrong which state you're in. I'm probably going to trigger some kind of state rivalry stuff, right? Australians are like that. Weirdos. Pave the world. Okay. And gain a bunch of stone. South Australia. So we moved in front of Brizzy? Wait, what? You got, uh, what is it called? Daylight Savings? You moved to this planet for no biters? That was one, uh, one reason, yes. Although, since UPS issues forced us to turn off rampant, uh, the biters really haven't been an issue on Nalvis either. But yes, there are zero biters on Hagen. Um, we've got the whole planet to ourselves. There's no, there's no time pressure. Brisbane can't handle daylight savings, but I lost an hour of sleep. New Zealand's West Island. Wow. I see you using bulk loader. When I tested dual row of stack inserted picking items and delivering on angle, it's faster. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, however, I did a lot of... I, I did basically vanilla chests and inserters last playthrough with space exploration because I wanted it to be more... Um, something that a casual viewer could follow. But we ended up with so many inserters, so many chests, and so many little circuits that I think that had a serious impact on UPS. Uh, with this, we can do what we want to with far fewer entities and simpler circuit logic. So I think that'll save a lot. We don't need the daylight savings because we are closer to the equator. I guess you get shorter days closer to the equator, right? What are we missing here? Red circuits. Because we weren't making electronic components because I messed up the request. It was too low uh, for the threshold. Wow. We've already got a train load of electronic components. That's actually super fast. That is ridiculously fast compared to how fast we're probably going to need electronic components. Well, that's fine. I'm perfectly happy to have that be saturated until the end of time. Alright, so now we have rocket control units, in theory. Uh, I think we have everything that we need for cargo rocket sections except... Well, we do have that, um, but we don't have is liquid rocket fuel. We're also waiting on blue inserters, which uh, I think I said we need 4k to trigger a delivery. Oh, wait, I didn't make this a provider. I could just lower it to a couple of thousand. That might be good. I don't want to go too overboard with that. Uh, standard pickup. I think we can leave the request threshold the same. And we'll set this to provide stack threshold 40. So once we have 2k fast inserters, uh, the train should take that. How much 
I think I said we need 200 for a... Um... For a cargo rocket, right? So that's actually 10 cargo rockets of fast inserters that we've already got. That'll do. I'm just using merge chests and inserters. I have no idea how it's going to pan out long term though. I did make sure to limit the max size of a merge chest. Yeah, apparently big containers are bad, which is uh, a little concerning, but we'll see how it goes. Considering how fewer entities we have, I don't know how bad it's really going to be. Alright, I think I will take a short break here. We'll do some words on the stream. And when we come back, uh, the automation should have us a lot closer to a cargo rocket. Where's our electronic components? Oh, they're coming. Good timing. Uh, we'll pretty much just have to make liquid rocket fuel uh, to get our cargo rocket into space. And then hopefully we'll be on track to get a single utility science pack built today at least. Alright. Whoops. Let's do some LTN screensaver. It'll take a while for the single assembly to make all those fast inserters. Uh, yeah, but it does have speed modules and it is already almost there. Did I say hello to Yama? Yeah, I did. I choose to think the fact that I can use the loaders to draw from the chest instead of inserters and having to balance anything is going to outweigh it. Uh, yes? Not sure if I follow or not. All right. We do need a short break, so let's start some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Fantastic. Nicely done. Skyburner, Messlander, Vlad. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Alright, so where were we? Liquid rocket fuel. Uh, I definitely want a proper block for this. Because we are eventually going to be using a lot of it. Um, what's the recipe for liquid rocket fuel this time? Liquid rocket fuel. Uh, we need fuel refineries. Isn't solid rocket fuel a lot more expensive this time? Or harder to make? I think this whole half block only gives us like two per second. Oh, and that's that's only when we've banked oxygen for a while. I have the mod called Big Brother that lets trains always have line of sight if you're interested for LTN screensaver. Uh, yes, that does sound good, actually. Big Brother. How do you unload things from trains? Hello. Uh, Nershia, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just make a note of that Big Brother mod. Uh, the mod is called Bulk Rail Loader. Sounds like something that'll wreck UPS with a lot of trains. Uh, I think it'll only be active when the screensaver is active, right? Or at least there should be an option. Uh, okay, so... Solid rocket fuel in, liquid rocket fuel out. Maybe... Maybe we should just make that part of this build. But there's no room. How many, uh... Fuel refineries. These things are actually super power hungry. Also, we won't need many of them. Literally just two will keep up with our solid rocket fuel so far. Considering how much less uh, liquid rocket fuel we need to get off planet, 100 per second should be fine. Maybe... You know what? Maybe we don't do a build for liquid rocket fuel at this point. Uh, maybe... We deliver solid rocket fuel here instead. But I think we're already kind of full on these chests. We're requesting seven items. Theoretically, it should never be over full. Where are we even going to do the output for solid rocket fuel if we do that? Maybe I should just put another train stop here. Or, like I said, I could literally just put an output here somewhere. Like right here. For our liquid rocket fuel. Let's put a huge storage tank here. Steel pumps, like so. Um, fuel refineries, which I don't have. I think I have some on planet, maybe. I do. We have five, which is far more than we need right now. Although, I don't necessarily mind being able to convert the surplus into liquid rocket fuel quickly. 
How much would it take to make 200k? Oops. Uh, 4,000 solid rocket fuel. Uh, we've got three times that here because I limited the outputs. Considering how small the stack sizes are, I think, I think we'll allow this to fill up. And then... actually can fit these around here pretty snugly. So this will be uh, two and a half times too fast for this, but it'll be able to use the surplus. That's not going to reach. And we're going to make this a pickup station. Bullet liquid rocket fuel provider. I'm going to rename this station to show that we are making that here. And we're just going to melt this over. Do I not have a fast loader? A splitter? And then... That doesn't actually go as far as I thought it would. second for each of these and for the look of it I'll make that blue all right we're already uh two percent full almost kind of fast. Good morning, Lutharian. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just check I didn't miss something else in chat. Sounds like something that'll... Re oh yeah, I read that. How much of a difference is it actually in fuel costs? Are you going to make your space base around this planet too? Yes. So I think it'll be about 40k as opposed to like 57k. Um to get off planet here into orbit. Can you maybe explain to me briefly how you have set your trains in the LTN? I have taken your blueprint for mining and processing iron and would have the trains uh, automatically driven the ore to this melting city block. That would be awesome. Uh, sure. So Usually when I use LTN, I set it up so that we don't bother unless we're filling a train. Uh, to do that, I set a provide stack threshold of 40 times the number of cargo wagons, um, or 25k the times the number of fluid wagons. Uh, you can control the train length here as well, that includes the locomotives. Uh, and then at the request side, we also usually set the request stack threshold to a full train load. Uh, so it won't request a train... It, it, it won't request less than a full train load of stuff. Um, LTN basics, if you're not aware, negative numbers mean we're requesting something. Positive numbers mean we have it, so when we just connect this straight to the train stop input. LTN knows that we've got this uh, solid rocket fuel here. 
Um, does that answer the question, or was there something else? I think I've already actually set it up. Yeah, the liquid rocket fuel should already be on the way, as far as we're concerned. Oh, wait, wait. I think the wire is connected, actually. Yep, yeah, we've got 41k. Fantastic. Uh, so that just leaves the space capsule, which I'm just going to put here manually for now, because we're just doing an occasional trip ourselves. Until we get space rail, I'm not going to worry too much about fully automating uh, deliveries to space. Oh, that's bright. Let's get some concrete over here. Uh... But yeah, we should have red circuits. We do. We've almost got a train load already. Which means we will have uh, rocket control units. Branko, good to see you again. Oh, well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning to you. Oh, I do have a little concrete on me, but I do mean a little as far as putting it on the ground is concerned. Let's go get some more. Um, drop off my stuff in here. Give me back the solid rocket fuel. Take the concrete. Rebalance it through here. I thought we had a train load of uranium-235 for a second there, but... I set the request for this much smaller. I could probably, now that we've got enough nuclear fuel to last a while, uh, it's almost, there's almost a little bit left in this chest here. Um, I think we could now change this to provide threshold 80 stacks. Then again, we're probably going to fill this with 238 before we get that much 235. We'll see. Oh, that's not a stack threshold. Provide stack threshold. 80. I really dislike that CoverX is behind getting to another planet to get production signs. But what are you going to do? Alright, let's... Whoops, this is the wrong way. Oh, is that empty? No, it is very much full. Okay. Concrete... Over... May as well drop off all we can. Save the world, all of it. Fantastic. Morning, tiny Goliath. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've just been using gas powered generators for power so far. With the uh, biomethanol? Or something else? Uh, let's pick up our stuff again. Alright, red circuits are being picked up. Beautiful. Although they're not perfectly balanced, so the train's gonna have to wait just a moment. Possibly. I'm actually curious to see if this will be filled up before it has to wait. Nope. But we're actually like two stacks imbalanced here. I think because of the rate 
like if we get a trickle of like one resource coming into the delivery cannon chest at a time uh, it'll be perfectly balanced if we get a full throughput like a fast belt let's say into the delivery cannon chest it seems to be perfectly balanced but if we get a trickle at a certain uh, somewhat arbitrary rate um, it tends to favor this one on the left. Um, I think it's because we've got invisible inserters with a stack size of not zero pointing at this chest is how that works. Wazaar, Andy Gaming, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Sheep say meh, good to see you again also. MS Paint with sound effects, indeed. Yes, biomethanol, wood from water only recipe. Each of my builds has about 50 megawatt net gain. Yes. Uh, it's about, I think it's like 63 megawatt net gain for each, uh, each unit of the minimal amount for a perfect ratio, if you have efficiency modules. Send the train to a depot. Oh, hey. I see. Uh, did I say hello, Hughes Mike? Well, hello, Hughes Mike. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Uh, so have we built everything to get our cargo rocket? Or what are we waiting on? Um, we've got heat shield LDS. Rocket control unit we don't have yet, of course. We're just waiting on that. Pumps don't have steel. Uh, is steel working? Is it slow? Provide stack threshold 80. It's completely full of steel plate. Did we request it wrong? Let's add a icon here. Cargo rocket. Why can't I put this here? That'll do. Uh, yeah, I see zero steel. Probably because I didn't request steel plate. That might have something to do with it. Yeah, that, uh, that might have a little bit to do with it. What are we working on today? Hopefully we are getting our first utility science packs today. We're just getting our first cargo rocket uh, set up to go into orbit from Hagen. And we're not going to build much of a base in orbit until we get uh, space rail. I'm just going to put together the minimum, like we did in Nalvis Orbit, where we've got this little lazy build here to give us uh, space science packs. And I want to do the same for utility science packs, because we need 250 to get proper logistics. I brought a bunch of tech cards from Nalvis. So we don't have to automate that again yet, although I do want to do it on planet soon enough. Um, but yeah, our goal today is to unlock the logistics system. And the next thing I want to do after that is go after Coverex, which means production science, which means going to Granis, I believe. Uh, production science packs require vulcanite blocks. Yeah, that's the only thing that we can't get here. Oh, it actually, hold on. Production science pack. It takes four vulcanite blocks to make three production science packs. 
So we could make 75 production science packs. Um, I don't suppose cover X. It's 500. We can't use the little bit of vulcanite we got gifted uh, to get there. Oh, sweet. Requesters, indeed. It's a use for all the uranium. Yeah, we've got a lot of 238 because we're running nuclear power here, but we don't have... Uh, uh, we we don't have cover X yet, so we're just desperately mining uranium to get two thirty eight uh two thirty five at random. Um, but yeah, suffice to say we crossed the threshold where. Oh, I think we've been wasting some steam, probably. Let's turn the uh. Or miner back on. And that's a whopping two coal miners that we're using. Uh, Alright, so we have red circuits, we have... Huh? Where did the red circuits go? What else do we have that requests red circuits? Is it the main... No? Uh... What builds do we have that consume red circuits? Nothing. I'm pretty sure. I definitely saw a train pick up red circuits earlier. We watched it because we were seeing if it would get filled up before the train had to leave. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, obviously electronic components don't use red circuits because red circuits use electronic components. I... I don't know where the red circuits went. That train is just keeping them for itself, indeed. Finally unlocked spaceships last night, nice. With a seriously janky bootstrapped Astro 3 build that I just hand-fed for the science packs. This is the way. Trains be like my precious... My precious 16,000 red circuits? Oh, oh, this is where the red circuits went. I forgot, we need red circuits for a couple of these. Alright. Well, I guess the next train load is making rocket control units. I mean, it's all prerequisites for the same stuff. Ultimately. But when will we get red circuits again? We need copper. Uh-oh. Why don't we have copper? Probably because we don't actually have a copper mine and we were running off of a bunch of copper that we accumulated from coal mining and didn't realize... Uh, didn't realize that that was our only source. If that's the case, I'm pretty shocked at how far we got with it. We do have copper ingots here, but not that many. Um, but we could maybe use those. I think I'd rather just use the ingots at the mall and get this copper mine up and running since we'd have to invest a little bit of time, regardless. That is by far the closest copper mine. And, oh! Ran into the uranium again. Uh, I do want to get mines out of the way. I'm not going to bother mining the cryonite, uh, for the most part, because 
at least for now, um, core fragments more than keep up, uh, are going to more than keep up with our needs, uh, for cryonite rods. Uh, let's see. Mines. Um, why don't we... I hate making mines. Let's just get it done. Is this... that's not covered, is it? No. And... down here as well. Uh, do we have any more... Electric Miner Mark II? We do not. Do we have any that have finished what they're doing already? Yes. Yes, we do. Probably not that many. How many more do we need to finish this, uh, this mine? About the- about a stack, let's call it that. I just need rare metals to be able to craft some more, and I know where they are. Alright, that seems to be covered. And then... this one. Alright. Uh, how about we just build a block around this? And decide where we want to put our pickup. About here. Uranium may be finished some too. That sounds about right. Oh yeah, we can... We can maybe even get 35 from the ones that have finished. Uh, that might be a bit optimistic. Maybe not. Let's get the belts and stuff done first. I was about to handcraft some bulk rail loaders, but the rail in my inventory disappeared. We've got some over here, though. Just drop off what we can first. Okay. Back to the mall. Oh, and the uranium got me again. Well, while we're here. Uh, I forgot that we're going to have to add pipes. All of these are done. I think. the uh, fluid stuff. Seems good. Alright, how many drills is that? 20? Yeah, I think we do have 35 lying around. I want to do a K2SE run, but I don't want to do all the beginning crap. 
You could probably cheat some items. Uh, what are we looking for here? Bulk rail loaders. And some rail. And... Uh, let's go visit our iron mine. Oh, it's right here. Doop, doop. Uh, waiting for space. Waiting for space. No mindable resources. Fantastic. And that is 28 drills. I should probably hurry up and add it to the auto crafter queue. Uh, 32. We just need three more. And I think there should be... Oh yeah, over here. Burner phase is just awful. Yeah. The amount of stuff that you need to handcraft an inserter is a bit excessive, I think. There are quite a few mods to start with power armor, bots, and materials to speed things up. Even starting with X number of research cards. Sounds good. Glenn Denning. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's go finish our copper mine. If we can. Right. Uh, delivery cannon chest. Power. And then... How much have we got here? Uh, if we so desire, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 inputs. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Tragic. Let's just merge this one in. Do a splitter here. Lock that side off. And one over here. One over here. Someone. Game to game to relax. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's belt this over here. Tell me I'm low on hundred rounds. And uh, Glenn Denning, thank you for the follow. Uh, I think I miscounted, and I need to combine these into one belt. Alright, let's get rid of some of this rail. It's not going to do anything up to the... Pro really? 121 copper? Fine. Have, have it your way. Can I maybe put this here? That doesn't quite work. Uh, how about... Like that. Get... Get out of here. Okay. Wait, no, that's not what I want either. Damn it. Alright, get out of my inventory. Perfect.
Okay. You didn't miscount. Left bottom loader is unused. Oh. So it is. That might make it a little bit easier to deal with this. We've still got a million uh, blue underground belts back here. Let's go get them. All of the blues, thank you. Fantastic. That's all I really need right now. I can't believe I forgot to get a copper mine going. And I can't believe how far we got on the copper from core fragment processing. Okay. Uh, that's already set up. This can go here. Spaghetti. And one more spaghetti. Uh, where is this one going? Oh, here it is. There we go. I think all of our minds are connected now. Is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Hey, what is the mod you use for train unloading? It is called Bulk Rail Loader. I think I need a general LTN guide, now I get an error message that my ore is not found in the network. Uh, if you check out the YouTube, there's actually uh, an episode that I I started with an LTN tutorial and chopped that into a, a video for itself. It's just done live, but it's, I mean, people have told me it's a, it's a decent guide. never thought of that, putting an invalid item into one side of the splitter so a few items don't sit at the end forever. I'm going to load my save game, indeed. Copper pickup station is not connected to the rail network. Uh, I haven't done the wiring, yes, that's correct. Uh, let's do... Nav set. Oh, I'm going to have to do a little custom job here to fit the constant combinator. Alright, so this is copper, provider, and we have a threshold of 80 stacks. Train length is 4. And that's it. Oh, and we want, because this is a finite resource, uh, we want to set this... Uh-oh, where's this train go? Oh, no. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Alton Z. Uh, because this is a finite resource, we're going to set this to encoded network ID 1. That way it will not be dropped off at the storage, which is for... Uh... Uh, stuff that comes out of coal mining, which eventually will get turned into landfill and scrapped if everything is completely overfull. Um, so we just have encoded network ID 1 on the stuff that we don't want to drop off here, um, and encoded network ID 2 on the drop off. Alright, let's check those two. Oh, that's a lot of trains. Wow, okay. Uh, and I think they're all... Okay, two of them... Two of them were scheduled to go to the storage. 
at least. Not the first one now. Not the second one now. Not the third one now. And not the fourth one now. Okay. That should be fine. We'll search for it. Thanks. You're welcome. Train CN reach copper. Oh, yeah, yeah. I assumed that was part of K2. May get that bulk loader mod myself. Yeah, I like it. Marsh, good to see you again. Boovin, good to see you again as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wouldn't it be better to store cryonite powder instead of rods in storage? Rods may be a bit more precious to burn. Yeah, um, I'm, I was talking about that yesterday, actually, because I think I do want to mine the cryonite, the finite cryonite. Because we could go with uh, cryonite slush cooling from the start. Or can we? Uh, thermo fluid. Let's look at it here. Thermo fluid. We don't actually have the recipes to use cryonite slush yet. Cooling. Uh, we can't even make supercooled thermofluid, but more to the point, here it is, hypercooling 3, it needs energy science 1, that's not that far off. So I was thinking we could actually use the cryonite slush from the beginning, um, in which case core mining might not be enough. The reason that I used rods here is it's just way more stack efficient. Um, however, if we're going to get cryonite from finite sources as well, then yes, um, I should have stored it as powder. But we actually filled up on powder incredibly easily. Like, incredibly, incredibly easily. Um, but yeah, we've got some slack, we've got some time, like quite a bit of time actually, before we end up scrapping any rods. Hello again, Gordon Freeman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Okay, so, uh, that's our copper, which means we should be getting copper plates. What's wrong with this? Oh, it's full. Um, that's kind of weird. Is it not? What What's the rate of copper plate from here? 22.5 on each side. So theoretically it completely fills one half of the belt. 30 per second in. Inserters onto belts just being inserters onto belts, I think. Perhaps we should replace those with loaders. Um, I think the stack inserters are doing okay for a job of input, but not so much output. Surprisingly bad at output. 3.75 per second, one stack inserter should definitely be able to keep up with. So I don't think it's the stack size. I think it's just looking for space on the belt that's the problem. But I don't know why uh, on, on both sides it's the left side that's... Uh, backed up. I think it's something to do with loaders, probably. Then again, I don't see why that would be the case. There's nothing obstructing them. They should be going in at full speed, which it looks like they are. It's a bit strange. Are they trying to drop on the wrong side? Uh, no, they're all set to 
far side, which is the same as vanilla. So there's 50% trying to drop on each side. Also, there's an extra inserter here. But I don't think that matters. Uh, yeah, this is the kind of thing where if you want inserters to drop onto belts as much as they theoretically can, uh, what you need to do is make sure the belt that they're dropping to always has some space, and then you can merge it in with uh, splitters. They are on wrong side at the beginning on the left. Alright, let's have a look. Jakubaz, Akira, Raccoon, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Where did I go? Here we go. Let me just scroll chat a bit. Yeah. Um... Oh, these ones are near side. Well, there's your problem. Probably. How did that happen? Yeah, no. It's, uh... Oh, I think it was, um... I think I was gonna have near side up here and far side down here. But since this is taking up both sides of the belt, it doesn't really make sense to do that. Since we're using both sides of the belt equally anyway. I think we'll still get it bottlenecked a little bit by inserters failing to put items onto the belt as fast as possible. Uh, it depends on the recipe, though. Yeah, I think we're still suffering from that problem. So if we have, like, exactly 45 items per second going onto the blue belt, which we do, and you have inserters like this far down trying to put on, uh, what you might want to do is something like, something like this, but I don't really have room to do that. If I put loaders here, we're going to have a couple of items stuck for all eternity. So I'm going to have to move the underground belts a bit. We really do need copper as fast as possible right now. I think I'm going to have to move the substation. Well, maybe not. Alright, that looks good. Let's replace that on this side. You can insert directly onto a splitter also. Yes, but there isn't room this time. And it figures out where the gaps are for you. In the double belt output. Yeah. Uh, let's do it for iron as well. Actually, just delete that. Do we have enough? I think we do. Uh, maybe have enough express loaders? Inventory is full. Fantastic. Alright, that should give us... 
saturated belts of copper. In theory. I saw a gap here. Are the inserters not keeping up now for the input? They're actually... Oh, the belts are not... Wait. The belts should absolutely be keeping up. Oh, don't tell me. I think our bulk rail loaders are uh, invisible inserters going into the delivery cannon chests are not keeping up. I mean, we do need... 120 per second. Wait. We need what now? 60 per second. That is four red belts. Um, one, two. Hold on. Did I miscalculate this? Hopper or 60 per second. 120. 30, 60. No, oh, this should be 120. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, we're bottlenecking on our stack. Uh, the stack inserter size, uh, stack size bonus is what determines how quickly the bulk rail unloaders will do their thing. So the delivery cannon chest laid out like this is not good enough for this throughput. What are the delivery cannon chests for? It's just a really neat and convenient way to merge the input from these two bulk rail unloaders. Because if you put a container like here, uh, it will automatically put things into the container or take from them in the case of the bulk rail loaders. But yeah, it turns out that's not so good in this case. Um, so I guess since this chest is constantly empty, we can go ahead and pick it up. And we'll put what we had here before. Um, we needed one, two, three, four belts of output, didn't we? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This should be okay. This is what we did early on. Uh, it might be a little awkward with the 2x2 two two chest. No, it needs to be like this. trying to use bots to make sure this is stay balanced like this put down the ghosts and then bots it wouldn't have been perfect but still whoops let's just rebalance these two there we go okay so then we need one two uh three four outputs probably be red. And over here as well. Get rid of that weird bit of blue belt from before. That doesn't look too bad. And that'll have th uh, full throughput. So let's fix it. Uh, uh, it's not as easy to fix it on the other side as well. I wonder if just limiting this will let this chest empty. 
when at blue ones? Aren't they faster? Uh, we don't need blue ones. We need exactly 30 items per second for each column here. So the red belt is actually precisely what's needed. Although it might be more UPS optimized if the belt was saturated, I guess. Although this is the most basic version of this block that we're going to have. And this will this will carry us for a while. Uh, yeah, so when we, when we take some more iron away, I'll update this side as well. But uh, yeah, good to know. We found some use cases where this is no good. Which is a bit of a shame because there's a little downside to doing this for the output, which is that the bulk loaders won't necessarily be perfectly balanced. But I could probably set it up so it stays perfectly balanced. If I did a little, you know, don't let this belt move unless the belt segment is full. Um, then it'll put in two at a time every time. That'd probably work. Uh, but yeah, uh, we don't need to worry about this getting imbalanced. That's what I was saying. I think the reds are 30 a sec and blues 45 a sec, but I think Hax was saying that the rate calc says it only needs 30 in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 30 ore in and 45 plate. Uh, sorry. 22.5 plate out, 30 ore in for each of these. So it's a full red belt in and a half a blue belt out on each side. The second loader and the chest aren't connected. Is there a reason for it? Oh, I forgot to reconnect it, that's why. Because we were messing with this. Alright, so that's our copper plate, which means we should have circuits, including red ones. Beautiful. We've already got a train load of red. I'm really loving the ratios, like how long it takes to get a train load of stuff with these sizes of rail blocks and trains. It's not a lot of waiting. And the trains are a lot more agile as well, literally. They are, uh, they have more acceleration. Okay. So, rocket control units. Red circuits are on the way. Fantastic. We should already have liquid rocket fuel up. Wow. We've already got 200... Oh no, not this again. Uh, I forgot to connect the wire to tell LTN how much liquid rocket fuel we have here. It's only 34.88k. So it's very approximate but it's basically the radius for the delta V. Um, I'll just add another storage tank up here. Where is it? Did you move the base to another planet? Yes, I did. We are on Hagen, which is the ice planet uh, furthest from the sun, closest to the interstellar map in our solar system. So it's got a smaller radius, uh, which means less delta V to get into space. Um, it's big enough though that we're gonna have room to build as big a base as we want to on this planet. Uh, the solar panels suck, that's bad. The spaceships are gonna have a very short trip because of the way uh, spaceship journeys work in space exploration. The uh, the amount of time spent in a system is actually pretty significant. 
especially when we exploit the anomaly later on. Uh, it's going to give us basically not much more than 20k delta V uh, for each uh, each trip, uh, which means the difference between the spaceship coming to Hagen and going back to Nalvis orbit is actually going to be pretty huge. Also, there are no biters on this planet, and we have Crinite and Pulmonite. Uh, we also have Immersite, which I don't haven't even looked at playing with yet. Cargo pods are missing. Fast inserters. Um, how many more do we need? We've got the fast inserters. Ride stack threshold for. I think it's because the request stack threshold is 80. I should set this to 4000. Liquid rocket fuel is taking its sweet time. Oh, it's because this is actually full. And it's slowly flowing up here. Uh, but yeah, there should be a train coming with fast inserters now. Fantastic. That's enough fast inserters for 20 launches. So I'm just gonna... Oh, wow. Okay. I was going to block this off for the moment. May as well just leave it. I can always just take the fast inserters from here when I want them. A train with fast inserters? I don't think I've heard that said before. I mean, we already had the fast inserters built over here, so I just threw them into a train. Uh, okay. So, what are we doing other than just waiting for our resources to go into space? What should we be doing? Getting together whatever it is we're going to take into space? Let's see. Now this orbit. We're going to need to do another space science pack build. Uh, let's have a peek at Hagen orbit. Hopefully we've got some rocks we can build on. Uh, I see nothing. I, I see literally nothing. I'm actually a bit worried now. <laughs> Am I going to have to... Hold on. Let's trim surface. And go to Hagen. Go to Hagen orbit. Because I think if there are rocks, they should be all horizontal from the origin point. So I don't want to be zigzagging looking for them. Yeah, I don't think there are any rocks to build on up here. Which means we're going to need space scaffolding, which I don't think we can build on the ground anymore, arbitrarily. It's made in a space assembly machine or a space manufacturing. So we're going to have to go back to Nalvis orbit just to come back with scaffolding. Unless we've got a decent supply sitting in the spaceship. Um, yeah, that means the space that we're going to take up is really at a premium to get this thing started. Start a scan? We could do that. 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to find any rocks up here. At all. Well. Okay, how's our spaceship? Oh. I forgot I changed it. Also, we... I could... I could use the spaceship floor that we have. We have a whopping... Uh... 363 spaceship floor. And... Buildings that we need... Are gonna take up more than that, I think. I've got a space platform scaffold back here. 2.8k. That's a start. Uh, just to get an idea of it. This is 1k. So yeah, that scaffolding that we've got. We'll go get that in the spaceship. Come back to uh, Hagen Orbit, and that should be enough to build our little tiny uh, starter base in orbit. C363 is enough to make scaffold in a factory. Uh, indeed. I think I'll take advantage of the scaffolding we've got here, though. We've got a few more trips, like maybe seven. Uh, with our, well, probably a bit more since I made this ship smaller. Uh, but we've got a few more trips before we've run out of our free ion stream. Might as well set up stone delivery to Hagen while you are there. Hmm, that's true. Might as well take the machines as well from orbit. Uh, yeah, I'll take whatever makes sense um, that I can cram into my inventory and stuff. I've also got a whole lot of tech cards here that we'll want to take with us. And the labs. And all of this, to be honest. We don't have water uh, in orbit. In Hagen orbit, that is. Although we can make ice on Hagen because we've got cryonite. Uh, can we already do that? Yeah, two cryonite slush, 200 water. So that won't be a problem. But I might, uh, I might take a few stacks of ice from here. Actually, I could probably set that up to start mining right now. <laughs> Pick a dolly's best mod. Send a cargo rocket delivery from Nalvis full of science to Hagen. I could do that as well, yeah. Although I don't have... I don't have the bot automation. Because uh, we had precious few requester chests. Um, I can't set that up from back here. I can send all of this stuff in specific ratios. Uh, wherever I want to, consistently. So that'll help. In fact, I might just use that to build most of what we're going to build in Hagen Orbit at first. Is this still dropping off? How is it taking so long? Is the li- What? Is it stuck? I don't understand. How could this get liquid rocket fuel if this can't flow through here. It's not connected to tank. I mean, 
fluid system contents 233k. They are connected. And yet... It's just not flowing like that. How about we do this? I guess that does it. That's very weird. I've never seen like a one-way flow like that before. I don't think. Well, it's not one-way. Like, it came through here the first time. That is very strange. And here come our inserters, which means we'll only be waiting on rocket control units pretty soon. And we are getting rocket control units. We have a train load already. Beautiful. Literally one more, and it'll trigger a delivery. Nice. Uh, so I'll show you what I was thinking of which would ensure that the delivery cannon chest balances going into the bulk rail loaders. It's not... probably not necessary in this case because we get just one at a time uh, and then it just does the thing where inserters take turns which was added, I forget how long ago, but it is a godsend. Uh, but what I was thinking for... making sure it stays balanced... Um, when it's like in between saturated belt and a trickle like this, is if we just go... read belt contents hold, Enable, disable, uh, anything equals 8, or each, or everything, doesn't matter. Uh, I think, I think this is true when there's no inputs though, that's, that's the difference. So there just has to be 8, uh, rocket control units here in this tile before it'll let stuff through. Which means it'll come through perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And we should get... Exactly two of these coming in at a time. Which should mean this stays perfectly balanced. Two in here, and then two in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what's happening. Although, I suppose if there's an imbalance somehow with the outputs over here, that will become a problem. But I don't think there is. I think this only happened because I messed with it. I think that should be balanced from now on. I, I kind of don't like it though because the point of this delivery cannon chest was look it's balanced we don't e we don't even need any circuitry or anything if we're going this far we may as well just put a splitter yeah we may as well just put a splitter um, which means doesn't look good if it's coming down the middle. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's pretend we never saw that. Can we mine Holmanite ahead of time? Yeah, I think we can. Even though we haven't... We haven't even learned to make the ingots. 500 space science packs. Do we have that? I think we don't. 
Uh, we need space transport belt, which we have. What are we going to run out of first? 2.5k steel... You know what, let's just see if we can research that. McPsalute? How do I pronounce that? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need a booster pump? Need to add sides, rebalance. Add sides, rebalance. Uh, booster pump. We already had steel pumps over here. Oh, did you mean up here? Well, it's done now. It's fine. When do we get our rocket control units? I thought we already had them. We do already have them. Didn't I see a train deliver them? Or am I in met? Oh, don't tell me. I made that a single unloader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we need to rebalance this anyway. Uh, permit short trains. And don't worry about this contraption. And put RCUs in here until there's enough for one train load, which is 400. Rocket control unit less than 400. Okay. And I probably forgot to... Whoops. I probably forgot to allow short trains here. No, I didn't. Request stack threshold 40. Well, there's your problem. Probably. Provide threshold. Uh, let's say 40. It might result in trains waiting here sometimes. If they're looking for 80 stacks. I'd probably live with that, to be honest. How many trains do we have available? A few. We've definitely got 80 stacks here anyway. Oh, I know. What if... Uh, not like that. Actually, can I even distro... Yes, that's cool. Alright, so that can only hold one train load, but we push from here to here. That seems pretty good. Assuming that we can... Keep up with that with the one belt. And I'll set the provide stack threshold to 80. Minimum train length 3. Provide stack threshold 80. Request stack threshold 40. Train length 3. Rocket control unit. F oh, is it 10 stacks? No, uh, 400 is 40 stacks. Uh, what am I missing here? Hello? Mil Dorado? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No short train? That might be it. Good call, El Poncho. Just call me Luke. Okie dokie. Uh, did I add short trains or only the depot? I believe it's only the depot. Catch your assumptions. Where's our cargo wagons? Uh, did we really make 
a few locomotives but no cargo wagons? I guess so. Unless I just missed it. Alright, we should literally only need one short train for the moment. Why is there no fuel on this belt? Oh, I see. We need a short train to deliver the fuel, that's why. Let me just make sure as well we're allowing short trains here. Yes, we are. Uh, okay, I might... Might want to make sure we accumulate some solid rocket fuel here before we make liquid rocket fuel. Let's do this thing again. Right step threshold 80, short trains permitted, loaders like so, uh, solid rocket fuel stacks to 10 as well, if we don't have 400 available for this cargo wagon, push it from here, Aziz Light, Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Andy was here 2022. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, can we... Andy was here 2022. There we go. I'll go do that in a sec. Uh, yeah, that should work pretty well. And then we want to take rocket, uh, only if it's full, let's say. Actually, actually, why don't we set it to only if there's 80 stacks available? Will we turn it into liquid rocket fuel? Oh, what are we waiting for here? Nothing, resource-wise? Just the two per second solid rocket fuel doing its thing. And that means the short train will get a, a solid rocket fuel delivery soon enough. I think there's no need in logic circuit. What do you mean? Because he already limited slots. Uh. Oh, true. I think you're right. Wait, let me do this before I forget. Uh, we are dropping off solid rocket fuel to the depot. Not all of it, because we still need to fly. And directly put some into the train. Give me back some of that. Never mind. This will probably be fine. I'll just steal it from here, actually. We'll do the name in base, which I believe is up here. Fantastic. Well, yes, but now it's double sold. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, damsel? And Scrumpolid Jr. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again, damsel. Where was I doing that? Solid rocket fuel. And I think I did the exact same thing for... 
Four rocket control units. Oh. That means we need a bit less circuit logic and our... Uh, our system will be a bit less UPS hungry. That's cool. I actually really like this solution for both length trains being able to take from here. As long as it's a resource that's slow enough uh, that we can solve this with one belt. But if we're using short trains at all, the answer to that question is probably yes. We still fighting? Uh-oh. Base is looking amazing? Thank you. You have not apologized for the flowers and ice cream. Because you said Mike is your favorite streamer. Where did you say this, Andy? Uh, okay. I think we're good. Short train should be doing rocket control units. Fantastic. There's only one place that could be going. And that is our personal cargo rocket. In Mike's stream. Did you say it while Damsel was there? I cried all day. I'm dehydrated now. Oh no. Uh, so I think that's everything. Let's get to our spaceship, I guess. Oh. Oh no. Uh-oh, I, I just realized something. Space capsule. Do I have a spare? I do not have a spare. I kind of sort of put out only space capsule in the cargo rocket silo. And now we can't get it out until I launch. Uh, which means I can't go to our spaceship until I make another one. Solid rocket... F okay, we need... All of this we have. We don't have accumulators automated here, but we have a bunch of them. Uh, in fact, we've got 2,000. However, solar panels we're going to have to handcraft, I think. 50 of them. Uh, I don't want to handcraft 50 of those. Oh no, maybe I should just take the cargo rocket up there sooner rather than later. Damsel behaved like Alexa as soon as you mention her name she's like, yes, I have been summoned. Don't we all? Can spaceships not land on planets, or is it just a bad idea? They can, but the one that we've got now, which we can't... We can't make our own spaceships yet. We just found one. We I redesigned it a little bit to be as small as possible. Um, basically, we've only got an ion engine. Uh, and with an ion engine, we cannot take off from a planet. It'll land on the planet. It, it'll absolutely land on the planet, but it won't be going anywhere. Keep in mind that this is Factorio, not Grand Theft Spaceship, but we already stole it. And we didn't even get a wanted level, so that's good. Um, okay, what do we want to take to Hagen Orbit with us that we can't, preferably something that we can't get from this particular cargo rocket at Nalvis. Uh, we don't have blue circuit manufacturing here yet. Can we do that? I mean, yeah. Rare metals, advanced circuits, sulfuric acid. Weirdly, this mod set makes it easier. 
Um, I do have some rare metals lying around, but I haven't got the processing for them. We've actually got a ton of rare metals in storage from... We're going to start wasting them soon-ish uh, from core fragment mining, so should probably get on that. I'm pretty sure we have a rare metal build. Here we do. Uh, yes, we do. Can I fit this here? Nice and close to the iron and copper. Seems good. Oh, right. I was trying to get rid of this iron. Did we do it? I don't think so. We've still got a few thousand iron before I can put that roundabout there with a clean conscience. Uh, how about this? So, we can put it here, rare metals. Seems... Actually seems kind of bad, because the moment that... The moment that we have another build that wants a lot of water... I'm going to wish I didn't take that slot up. Uh, how about... Why don't we just put it right next to the vanilla core fragment processing? Because that is the only place... Um, where is this going? Oh, I see. Uh, that's actually the only place that we are getting rare metals from for the moment. Alright, let's go build that. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you just tie it to the projectiles from media defense cannons and throw it into orbit really hard? Uh, probably. Uh, Space Monkey, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There needs to be people for wanted levels. Yeah. God damn those blueprints. What's wrong with them? Uh, I almost said hello to Andy Gaming again. That was a close one. Ah uh, yes, litho breaking <laughs> indeed. Now I want to play Kerbal. That's not quite true. I want. Kerbal Space Program 2 to be out and good. Good luck to us all on that. Let me pick up these bots. There we go. Red Stanier, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We're going to need some more rail. We're going to need some more furnaces. We're going to need some more loaders, I think. Oh. Oh no, this is... Wait, what? Is this the... I did this with crafting combinators, I forgot. So this can do rare metal processing with or without Vulcanite. Uh, we need some steel for this, and some stuff from the first mall, and some bulk rail loaders. Let's go grab. Iron smelting is balked? How so? Iron smelting? Uh, oh yeah, I balked it deliberately. It hasn't run out yet. We'll give it a sec. Um, I need loaders and unloaders. How do we have loaders? Oh, here we go. But not unloaders is what I was going to say. And I'll take some more red belt. Actually, I should take the red belt from the 
other block. What else was I coming here for? Some steel. So that I can make... Was it a 4 by chest? Storehouse. And I think that's it. Furnaces will be given to us by the bots. This is exciting. I'm pretty sure we are going to get into space tonight. I want KSP to include major construction projects. Basically, I want Factorio plus DSP plus KSP to have a baby. A single playthrough going to end up taking 200 hours. That would be amazing, but I don't know... Okay, uh, KSP1 would cry if you tried anything at any scale, other than very small. Um, I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's not like it was that well optimized. The idea of basically KSP plus Factorio, I don't think I would ever come out again. It would probably be ideal for my stream as well, now that I think about it. Alright, let's go build this block. Oh, I hope I remembered... ...to label my other builds. Oh, I've still got a... Unwanted power pole here. It looks like everything's working though. Or will be. Do we not have blue loaders? We have seven. That is suboptimal. We also need a bunch of crafting combinators. Uh, 32 to be precise. Alright, I guess we're handcrafting a few of these. I'll steal the steel gear wheels. Are we out of lighted substations? I think we're out of lighted substations. I also need some more steel chests. How do I have inserter parts in my inventory? Alright, what are we missing here? Let's see. 26. Uh, we're going to have enough blue, un uh, blue loaders. I need to go get some lights. And we can pick up inserters from over this way. Lamps just make it way easier to handcraft the substations. Actually, we should have lit substations here, right? I see substations, I don't see lighted substations, even though we've got 132 lighted big poles, 188 lamps, and 51 substations. I think I set this to look for 200 lights before making anything else, though. I think it's uh, about time to set Crafting Combinator. Uh, that's 30 seconds, I believe. 1800 ticks. Yep. So the recipe will only update once every 30 seconds now, which means it'll overshoot its target which means it won't change recipe that often. 
especially once we drop down below the required prerequisite number. Oh, we do have lit substations. How did I miss? Let's get some more steel. So we can make steel chests. All of them, actually. Aziz, light! Aziz, light? I'm really hoping they'll end up adding something like combinators eventually. For KSP2. GTS rule 3A repaint ship, <laughs> indeed. Orita, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. DSP just doesn't have the same ability to ascend into a full-on Mechanicus moment, controlling everything from miles away. And I would quite like to be able to design different ships for different cargo types missions. Yeah, KSP doesn't give you... Like, space exploration is incredibly good at giving you reasons to build lots of different things. Um... KSP, not as much, which isn't a massive uh, put down. Like it, it's it's a high bar. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, I'll take the if I can find them. The vanilla stations. I cannot find them. This is a mess. Oh wait, there was a mod that I didn't add. I need to make a backup of this save and add a couple of things, maybe do an update. Make a backup of the actual game as well. Uh, but there's a mod that will automatically sort this that I meant to try. Alright, let's turn these into... we need lamps. That's maybe a few too many lamps. Let's turn these into logistic train stops. And the part that I thought would happen a while ago, we will get a delivery of enriched rare metals. Recipe rare metals. Recipe rare metals. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. I don't have the version that uses raw rare metals. This is just using enriched with or without vulcanite blocks. Um, oopsie. Is that the only rare metal build that I have in the rail network? I think it is. Uh, but for enriched, we require... Oh, we can do that all the time. We don't need molten anything. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, I should have built it like this one in this block and this one in this block. But it won't make much difference. Uh, let's see. Enriched... Rare metals. Here we go. So we need chemical plants, which we should have plenty of. Which we should have plenty of. We don't have any chemical plants. Seriously? I think our auto crafter is having to try a bit too hard. Can we handcraft some? Not right now. We need small electric, glass, and a bunch of iron, steel, and stone brick. It's kind of a lot. Um, I 
can't easily prior this. How about I just do this? Oops. Assembly machine. And the gold plant. Do we have everything we need? Let's find out. We do. That's pretty easy. And we're out of small electrics all of a sudden. Uh, they're up here, actually. Let's just put some down here. And how many do we need? Uh, 24. We also need some bulk rail unloaders. I'll come back in a minute for the chemical plants. We also need pipe. What train is trying to come here? Lots of them, actually. We also require rail. Pretty much just pipe and rail now, as far as we're concerned. Uh, iron plate. Iron plate, gimme gimme. Many pipes. And rail. There's no rail here. Okay, that's a surprise. There should be plenty of rail back this way, though. Fantastic. I'll, I'll actually take it all. And I'll just drop some off at the old mall. Oh, I think I missed chat for a minute. It was busy making 8k fast inserters, indeed. The thing I dislike most about KSP is when I have to launch the same rocket several times. The launches in general are my least favorite thing. It's so, it's so damn variable. There is a mod for KSP called... Uh, oops. I think I just reset the chat. Uh-oh. Well, uh, I'm just going to have to go by memory. Uh, there is a mod for KSP called Kerbal Operating System, uh, which lets you automate things in KSP. So you can actually get a launch to be 99.9% .9 the same every time. Or even more so, probably. <laughs> Uh, it is a little bit cheaty because that is too many pipes to handcraft. Uh, it, it can be a little bit cheaty because it has such precise and instantaneous control over your thrust, for example, that you can simply hover in place, uh, like, like, like a magic hovering thing. I need to push further on my K2SE playthrough, but I make myself an added BZ ores. Uh-oh. Everything is harder. Uh, Demon BM, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Made the same mistake. There was a mod that let you exchange resources between Factorio and KSP. That's very interesting. That's some ambitious modding. Uh, do we have blue belt stuff over here? I think we do. Oh. Uh, we're a little bit out of... We're, 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 we're a little bit out of, um... Of, of blue... Express loaders. Um, just a tad. Also, this shouldn't... This shouldn't be so full. Let's put these back here. Mm. 
Let's do some more Combinator Smarts, indeed. I've seen Dr. D's fusing that mod combo. That's cool. Um, can we just stop with inserters for a minute? So that we can make some belt, hopefully. Time to change the crafting combinator response time again. So it's all it's doing all the prereqs first. Maybe I should make some faster speed modules. I actually just need small electrics to make this happen. And regular speed modules. Where did I put them? Probably the bots took them away. Uh, speed ones. They are in this chest. Alright. Is our power okay? Did everything just get darker? I think we're good. Oh, I think it's because of this. Anyway. Uh, one, two, three. Need some more small electrics. Oh, we're handcrafting small electrics. That's not great. One, two, three, and four. There we go. So that'll speed up from plus 80% to plus 120% uh, It's not that big of a change. Rail. Stop with the rail. Stop with the lights. Stop with the assembly machines. Uh, we've got enough... I was going to say we've got enough chemical plants, but that's not really true. But I don't need 200 of them queued up right now. Apparently it thinks we've got express loaders. Okay, so we found a problem. I don't think this thing ever crafted express loaders. Um, let's see, blue belt. If steel gear wheel greater than 50, which it is, send... Oh, well there's your... I was going to say, well, there's your problem, but that won't actually stop us from getting loaders. Express transport belt. 1k. But I don't see any request for express transport belt over here. Is it connected to the wrong thing? It doesn't look like it. Oh, it's not outputting. No, this one. This one's not outputting. Steel gear wheel. Huh? There's 132 steel gear wheel in here. Input 132 steel gear wheel. But it's not outputting? Why is this combinator not outputting? Uh oh, I think... I think I see the problem. Uh, yeah. Whoops. That's a whoopsie. One job, indeed. 
Robo Jumper, Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doof exam. Uh oh. There was also a mod that sent you resources between Factorio and Minecraft. Hypothetically, you could connect all three together. That's fascinating. That's so weird and cool. Romeo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you produce module tier 5 and above? Uh, no, we don't really produce tier 3 yet, actually. Alright, so now we at least have blue belt, which we thought we had a while ago. Um, because Express Underground and Splitter would go here, but we can't output input count for more than one type of thing. We're gonna have to do it like this. So much for our elegant... I mean, if this was SE without K2, this would have been enough for 99% of things, if not all of it. But we're finding more and more exceptions where it's also the lighted substation, uh, lighted power poles is another example. Because lamps are down here, uh, the prerequisite for lighted poles is later um, than the power poles. Which means we have another tier of uh, prerequisites to make this stuff. Uh, once we get past one tier of prerequisites, we're in trouble for not needing too many combinators. We have to add rules on top of rules on top of rules. I haven't thought of a way to genericify multiple layers of uh, multiple layers of prereqs. Let's go for 50 Express Splitters. 500 Undergrounds. 1000 Belt and 50 Express Loaders. <gasps> I think we just made Express Loaders. We got 12. Yes, that was well worth the effort. We've already probably got enough to finish this build. Uh, yes, we need two more actually. <laughs> But more importantly, we've got Blue Belt automated here, like we thought we already had. Alright, let's turn these back on. And make sure we give it our new speed modules. Oh, it seems like Blue Belt is a high priority. I approve of that. That's fine. I made that mistake on first liquid station, so it got copied everywhere. Uh-oh. I did a very similar miswiring. Result was that train stops kept requesting liquid trains. Isn't it great when you find a mistake after copying it 1700 times? You somehow need to make a tree data structure using these combinators. Don't know how. Yeah. Um, so, just to go back to basics for anyone who doesn't understand, um, with the crafting combinator mod, if we give it, uh, if we use the anything signal, we can pick, uh, I don't know if we do need the anything signal, I've been over that before, anyway, we're picking signals out of a list of stuff we're trying to craft, and it follows the same arbitrary order of the item IDs, which goes left to right, top to bottom, left tab to right tab, I believe, uh, in the crafting menu. So most of the time that works out in our favor, like we need stone furnaces to make steel furnaces to make electric furnaces. Uh, the inserters are all in order of prerequisites and so on. Uh, so are pipes for that matter. But if we're making any manufacturing stuff with the autocrafter, 
we're gonna have prerequisites that are to the right of the stuff that it goes into. Uh, we can add rules one by one, a separate decider combinator for every single uh, prereq, like we're doing over here. Or we can put a big list of prerequisites. We have to get these up to a certain number before we try to craft any of these. Um, however, with K2 and with lighted power poles, uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff like loaders come before belts, which are a prerequisite for the loaders. So then we have to start adding rules on top of rules, uh, and it's getting out of hand. Sounds like you need some sort of recursion to do that, but that comes with the issue of requesting ores rather than the items you actually want. Yeah, uh, we can indeed use, what is it called, uh, recipe combinators from the crafting combinator mod to look at what is required for a recipe. So it's definitely possible to programmatically look at all the prerequisites and figure out what to make. But that is a task and a half. Do we have chem plants? Not yet. I have a few. We can get this working at least. Why are we not... Oh, because I never set this. Let me just copy it from Nalvis. That way there'll be no mistakes. We can also do it more quickly and easily. Uh, yes, I know it's in the way. Okay, so water goes on this side. That looks to be correct. Uh, all we're doing with these pumps is reading from the logistic train stop output. It gives us a negative one signal if the train is trying to empty itself of a fluid. So we're just going... Hydrogen chloride less than zero. I'm pretty sure our hydrogen should be... Yep, it's all saturated. Fantastic. Very good. Where do the items in the assembler go when crafting combinator thingy is changing the recipe? Are they voided? They can be, uh, depending on your settings. Uh, so... There's a overflow chest, and in this case, if I set it to anything behind, it's going to find the uh, cargo landing pad. Uh, if you set it to behind, it'll look at this tile to look for a chest. Um, module chest is something that will hold onto modules if it changes a recipe from, like, if we have prod modules in there and then it changes to a recipe that doesn't accept prods, I think it'll hold on to the modules. But um, early on when I started using this, it actually would duplicate modules and just fill this up with free modules. That was a little bit of a problem, um, but they fixed that. Uh, but yeah, we have some options here. Discard fluids, discard... Oh, I didn't want discard fluids. How dare you? That's, to think that's on default. Uh, discard items, empty insert as hands, keep crafting till zero, blah blah blah. Uh, basically everything that's in the inputs and outputs, uh, if it changes recipe, will get dumped into this chest. Well thanks, no worries. Alan. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It sounds like it could take four or five hours, if not more. It would... I would do it, but no. It would be very satisfying uh, to get done, but yes, it would definitely take some effort, to say the least. SF Hobbit, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? 
let's get some more chem plants. I want to make sure that this... It, it probably already can, but I want to make absolutely sure it can consume all of the uh, raw rare metals that we're getting. Fuck Spidertrons? You're banned. Okay. Um, I don't think we have chemical plants here right now. I'll do it this way. So we don't have to interrupt the auto-crafter. And give it some speed modules. How many do we need? Like 12? 14 or so? 20. That's a little bit more than that. We should have everything we need for the cargo rocket by now. We do indeed. 58 cargo rocket sections have already been made. Nice. That will take a little while still. Um, and I don't... I haven't really thought that much about what I want to take from... Uh, Hagen to Nalvis... Uh, to Hagen Orbit, rather. In the cargo rocket. Does your own pocket rocket count into the robot attrition limit? on the surface. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, robot attrition works on a per robo network basis. So this robot network has 50 logistic bots, and so does this one. Not that it needs them. Uh, if you have 50, you won't lose any robots, um, but they basically have... It's not per surface, it's per robot network. And construction bots don't count as well. That's a good point as well. Life support would be the first guess. Uh, we have... Uh, we have 47 life support. And if we sit in the capsule or the uh, spaceship... It doesn't consume life support. Why am I robots crashing then? I'm helping build solar field. Are you sure that's construction bots that are crashing? I can't help but feel like the autocrafter could be relatively equally done with just a bunch of assemblers and a big chest. Like that landing pad, at least that's what I'm doing around a warehouse. Uh, the number of different items you can do with this scales literally infinitely. And we can have a bunch of these in parallel. So, uh, to keep up with demand as well. I hate robot attrition, even as someone that doesn't like bots. I think it's a bad addition. Fair enough. Boggles. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How do we only have three chemical plants here? We need stone brick. Uh, I don't know why... Oh, yes I do. Let's just steal some stone brick from here. And all of a sudden, we've doubled our chemical plants. Only construction bots flying over my head. I'm not requesting this stuff. Hmm. Are they being shot down by Pytus? Uh, should I... Well, I'm going to have to. I'll have to personally ride the spaceship. Uh, to go get the scaffolding that we already have, along with anything else I want to take with us.
Vitalist Planet? Yes, indeed. Didn't post a link. Did you put, like, dot something? Control dot Lua, that'll be it. If it's really too annoying for you, you can edit the control dot Lua on the mod zip searching for ignore small network. Yeah, uh, the heuristic to see, to check for a link is, can be a bit aggressive. I think 20 was the number of chem plants we need over here. That was for the attrition, yeah. Okay, so that's our enriched rare metals. Do we have something to process dirty water already? I think this is our first thing that does dirty water on this planet. Uh, I can't remember. I mean, I'm pretty sure we don't have a dirty water processing area, but I don't remember if something else outputs dirty water. I don't think it does. Let's see, Alvis, Dirty Water, here it is. Did we blueprint it? We did. Fantastic. I could maybe put Dirty Water Processing here, though. Um, because a lot of these blocks are sort of... I don't want to build until I get rid of the mines. So let's just steal this from Nalvis. Oh, it's got like multiple output. Oh, yeah, no, this kind of needs its own block. Uh, at least to do it elegantly. How about here, perhaps? Dirty water. It's not that thirsty, right? The dirty water processing. Otherwise, it would be close to the shore. No, it doesn't take water in. It gets rid of water. Okay, cool. I think I'll actually... Oh, we've got the crude oil here. Dirty water... Uh, nothing fits. Yeah, we'll put it here, a little bit out of the way. It's not going to see that much throughput. We're going to need a bunch of filtration plants. I actually do have those. Filtration plant. Uh, well, we have it queued up anyway. Can I handcraft some? Just one is probably enough for now, to be honest. Just checked there's no option to increase the safe network. Oh, there's research for that. Oh, no, that's not... No, 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 that's that's what I thought uh, that research was the first time. Um, robot attrition... Safety. What safety? Swarm safety. The first time I saw this, I thought... Oh, we can have... Uh, 500 bots without them crashing. Nope, it's, uh, 500 bots, when they crash, they don't deal damage somehow. Does that make sense? We need some lighted power poles. We need some rail. I think we ran out of research 
novice orbit, as expected. Uh, we need more small electric powers in here for our chemical plants. I should have put this up here, actually. Or not. Whatever, we've got enough chemical plants for a while. Uh, we've got rail, actually. What did I come back for? Lighted power poles. Lighted power poles. Where are they? They are not here, actually. Give me the lights, I'll handcraft them myself. Okay. Uh, that's probably not enough rail. Not even close. Uh, I don't think there's much more rail here, actually. Let's go pick some up from this way. They was destroying cliffs? Wait, what? The research is a lie? But we knew it would probably stop, otherwise I would have done this by now, I think. With our semi-automatic uh, research in orbit. Now this orbit, that is. Can I make a flare stack while I'm here? I can. It'll be a long time before I fully automate flare stacks. It's not often that we need to build those. We need some more loaders. Even more loaders. And a crusher. Oh, and like 11 preparation plants. I'm sure just one will be enough at the moment. Also, logistic train stops. Uh, we need a few of those. Alright, let's see what we can get. Uh, we've got vanilla train stops in here somewhere. Vanilla. And we need some more lamps. We haven't got to make the lamps yet. Because belts are such a high priority and we're requesting a lot of them. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? We need 11 filtration plants if we can, and one crusher. Iron and copper. Gears. That'll be enough. Filtration plant. Automation core multi-cylinder. Purash, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've run out of space. Auto core is in here somewhere. Probably. Oh wow, look at the icons moving around. Oh no. Oh no. Automation core. We've got 200. How can I not see them? Ah, where are they? There's four stacks of automation cores in here somewhere. 
Oh, I see some. Fantastic. Now what are we missing? Glass? Should have glass uh, here. And I think that's about it. More steel beams. And I'm out of rocket fuel. Okay. Maybe build a filter inserter next to the landing pad? The easy item pull? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Kind of like how I used to do cargo rocket loading. I had it set up so that it would all be sorted in the cargo rocket. Now we need a loader. Oh, we've got some, actually. Why are the bots... Oh, that's a loader, not an unloader. I forgot to pick those up. There's a bunch of them in the mall, more than likely. Item around. Uh, actually, we don't need five of these. Okay. Is this busted? Oh, it's missing a combinator. And how's our cargo rocket looking? 81%. Fantastic. What should we load into the cargo rocket, though? Green circuits, red circuits... Hold on, what are we getting from Nalvas that we don't have to take? Uh, red circuits, LDS, heat shield, small electric, iron, copper, steel, plastic. Solid rocket fuel and stone. Can't really think of much, to be honest. If, I feel like I'm going to waste a cargo rocket to go to space. Big electric motors was one of the big ones to watch out for. From... First playthrough. We've got those here. Alright, is that everything? Not quite. We need some inserters. Some regular inserters. And what is missing here? A fast inserter might be a bit unnecessary. I can go get those, but I want to do some planning. Do we need glass in space? Probably. Batteries? Oh, definitely cryonite. That is, like, thing number one. That's why we're here. Uh, we need to do a drop-off station for this as well. Maybe... I don't think we're going to do more than eight different things dropped off here. So a bulk rail loader should be fine. Maybe a bit closer to the cargo rocket would be good. How do you get scaffolding there? Uh, I've got a bunch of scaffolding in Nalvis orbit. Uh, we're going to go pick that up with the spaceship. And that'll be more than enough to get started. Oh, I think I'll steal that space capsule as well. Since that would be much more of a pain to make here. Uh, what are we waiting on? 
nothing. Fantastic. Right, we need another fast. And that's literally just to get rid of stone. Okay. I think that's our build done. Dirty water processing. Oh, I could have used this block, I now realize. That would have been ideal, actually, because... You know what? It's not too late. Let's let's move this thing. Uh, can I not bother with the cliff explosives? I guess not. Or could I do... Entity ghost, item on ground, tile ghost. No, there's no such thing as like building. Let's just do it this way. Get that out of the way before we get a delivery. Yeah, this, uh, this block actually uses up the three quarters of the block that are not taken up by this coal mine. So, that's kind of perfect. You could strug X? What? How do you get scaffold? Oh yes, I answered that, sorry. Alright, so... Dirty water goes here. Fantastic. Control X, cut. Uh, I, I didn't want to risk making a mistake. That's why I didn't copy-paste. Strug is the German equivalent of control. Okay. Or like when people from Mechlandia say command. is looking a bit full. Food coma is kicking hard. <laughs> nice. Hopeful guard. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad I noticed this before before we got a train delivery. Not that we should be getting dirty water that quickly. Oh, it's actually up to 41k. I take it back. Um, but that's only coming from core mining. So it's going to take a minute. We've also got some... Uh, raw rare metals in storage here. Okay. Is that everything? Just about. Let's make sure. Yoink. And I think this is all built. Alright, so dirty water goes here. Uh, what else should we do while we wait? Oh, right, we're setting up a drop-off for stuff we're going to put in the rocket. Definitely. Should I use bulk rail loader for this? Um... If we don't 
direct... It's going to be easy to accidentally request too much stuff, right? We've got 500 stacks. That's... Uh... 12.5 train loads of stuff. What is that black patch? Black patch? Do you mean where I've been concreting? Or something else? Coal? Near your character. Black patch. Oh, here? Yeah, it was just a very haphazard application of concrete. Oh, this. Unloader. Yeah, bulk rail unloader. On the rail. Yes. These are drop-off stations for resources. Do we have no iron? Oh, I forgot to fix iron. Oh, no. Yeah, that's kind of important. Alright, let's... Uh... Let's sort that out, shall we? Where is it? Down here. Game to relax. Welcome, Marco. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we're just going to pick this up. And copy, paste, flip what we did over here. Unfortunately, I can't grab it without getting the rail loader. There we go. Uh, so this goes here. That's in the way. Of course it is. Alright. And that should actually be red belt. And then the iron from the mine that's right here. Uh, doesn't actually have a place to get into the container, so I guess we'll put it into these two. Bots are getting upset. There we go. Is that full? Oh wow. That is full. My bad. Yeah, iron hasn't been moving for a minute because I wanted to empty that delivery cannon chest to replace the input here. Midden? Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Get rid of that iron. Fantastic. I'll take a little bit back. Okay. Uh, so we want to decide what we're taking into orbit that we can't have delivered from Nalvis at the moment. We can have iron, steel, copper, small electric, big electric, heat shield LDS, Advanced circuits, plastic, stone, and uh, solid rocket fuel delivered whenever we want. Um, so I think we'll go for green circuits. Let's just make a list. I'm not taking rocket control units up at this point, I don't think. Uh, where's the... How do we make... We need cryonite, we need processing units. Um, we've got a bunch of processing units on planet, but we're not making them. Should probably do that. We do have 1.7k or so that we could throw in as a one-off. And we need 
one per four, one per five. At the moment, we're just trying to get like 500 utility sides packs. So I won't worry about automating blue circuits in the rail network just yet. Uh, but that said, it does look pretty easy from what I saw before. Invert circuit, rare metals, sulfuric acid. That's why I was making rare metals, actually. Or one reason I was making rare metals. But we haven't got any yet. Uh, we should, though, because the only reason we don't is I didn't switch on this, uh, combinator. Should be a delivery scheduled any second now. Any second now. There we go. We'll definitely set that up soon, but I think uh, I'll just take some leftovers for the blue circuits. Uh, still, I'll make a note of it. And then... What do we... What goes into scaffolding? I definitely want to be able to manufacture that. Steel, heat shield, LDS. We already have those from Nalvis. Do you have a trash can for your logistics train not being empty? I bet those iron ore trains won't be empty until... Timeout? Also, hello everyone. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'll answer that in a sec. Do you have dual direction on your tracks? Yes. Um, so, my LTN settings are... thus. Including... Delivery timeout is as high as I could possibly set it, so they won't go back to... Oh, um, so they won't be considered lost, um, basically ever. Uh, as for the trains going back to the depot, I've gotten rid of that. Uh, we don't have finish loading, we don't have stop timeout. So if they are stuck somewhere trying to unload, they'll just stay there. until it's fixed. Like right here, for example. Uh, if this was not moving, like if I turned these belts around, uh, the train will just wait here indefinitely. So instead of doing a complicated and annoying system at the depots where we deal with trash that came back, um, I've removed every setting that can result in trash coming back. How do you handle train refueling with LTN? Uh, these are our depots. Quite nice, even if I say so myself. And the one on the... The, the station on the left here uh, is a drop-off for fuel. And then we've just got some surprisingly nice-looking belt spaghetti because I didn't have... Uh, robots at the time. Well, I didn't, I couldn't manufacture, as I can't manufacture requester chests. Um, but yeah, we've just got belts winding through this. They are nice, I'm a little jealous, thank you. Yeah, uh, I was actually really pleasantly surprised at how decent the belt looked with these builds. I'm really, really loving the size and shape of these rail blocks with the trains. And combined that with the rate of production, uh, how well it fits, how it fits. Uh, it, it, most builds, we put, we fit it under one wide area beacon on one side of the uh, block. And the time it takes to fill up a train is quite quick but not so quick that it's, like, kind of silly. Um, the trains are also way more maneuverable than last playthrough. With the 141 trains. So they're going to get out of each other's way that much more easily. And there's our rare metals. So we can do processing units whenever we want. Um... 
What else should we be taking into space? Lots of belts and inserters, but I'll pick those up manually. Um... I don't know, we've kind of got most of it covered by Nalvis, actually. So, maybe we'll just fill it up with cryonite. That might be the way to go. I, yeah, yeah, I'll just, uh... Why don't we just make this a cryonite rocket? And then we'll have it for later as well. Even though we could do better with the high throughput stuff. I can recommend a cool mod called Concrete Tints. It can make the base look pretty sharp. Nice. Are you using the 121 trains only because of the depots, or is it better in general? Uh, no, I designed the depots after I designed the rail blocks. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different with this run compared to last time with the train size, and I'm really really liking the results. Oh, this is actually a requester. Uh, so we're going to ask for cry on eight. And all of it, actually. Are we even going to use cry on on the ground? Oh yeah, because we can make ice. Let's just ask for a couple of train loads then. Uh, 100 times 80 times 2, 16, k. Okay. I should have known that already. That was the size of my trains last time, the stack size 100. And we're going to do Cryonite Rod Requester. And it's going into the cargo rocket. Uh, and we need a substation here. Alright. It it feels weird looking at it at this angle, but I think that's everything. Let's switch this thing on. And then... Loaders? Um, I'll just use a delivery cannon chest. Not too concerned about throughput here. Uh, and we do need to check that we've got our... I'll just do it really simple. Um, we're not going to put cryonite in unless we've got cargo, 100 cargo rocket sections. Cargo rocket section equal to 100. Because if there's extra in here, I would rather let it not fill up and launch. Uh, that shouldn't happen. I was going to set the override stack size here, but the stack size of cargo rocket section is 1, so it's impossible to overfill them with one inserter. Whenever I don't have enough cryonite, I cry all night. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Good job. Say that on Mike's stream? Fallen in love with it immediately? Wait, what? Oh, the uh, rail blocks? Okay, we are looking for seven more cargo rocket sections. And we'll take up a bunch of cryonite. We'll take up a bunch of whatever as well. We currently have 16k cryonite. No path. No path. Oh, this is why. I think. Because we need signals. What? Oh, I think I have to put this here first. And then... The signal or whatever that the bot just placed would probably help. 
And here comes our train. Fantastic. Uh, it would probably get here a little faster if we had some straight rail over here. Oh, and if we got rid of the... Is it done? Can we make this roundabout? No mineable resources, waiting for space, one point... No, 12k left. Yikes. Okay. Um, fine, have your 12k. Um, and I guess... Do that. So we can do 4.8k in each of these. That should be way more than enough. Okay. Uh, hazard concrete is literally just concrete, right? Yeah. So, do we have everything we need to begin the beautification project? I think we do. Let's go put down an assembler over here. Actually, why don't I put it where we've got a steady supply of concrete? Did I go past it? I did. Concrete. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna... I was gonna make this more aggressive. I'm just gonna keep halving it until we have power problems. On Nalvis, based on how frequently we're firing delivery cannons. There's definitely no shortage of physical resources here. Except for the uranium, that's never happening. Uh, and steel for that matter. We've actually got plenty of iron and copper ingots. I think we need to hard prioritize steel to make it work. Oh wow, that's slow. I think I see the problem. Coal and copper. Uh, I don't think we got around to designing this block so that coal and copper would be... No? Copper is totally saturated. It should be getting scrapped. Huh? Uh, do my eyes deceive me, or is copper or just not being put into this recycling facility by the loader? I'm guessing the loaders need a physical... If, if I have, like, a crusher here, and loaders... Like, belts and loaders going in, and then I remove the crusher, and then place a recycling facility. Kind of like if I use picket dollies with the, um... Uh... With the chests that are attached to the bulk rail loaders. Does it get confused? Because we absolutely should be turning copper into landfill, and eventually into... Void, here. To keep the core mining going, which would keep the pyroflux going, which would give us steel ingots. But, as you can see, uh, the copper is simply not flowing. Pick a dolly it? I've had issues with that too. Okay. I don't really have room to pick a dolly it. Can I pick a dolly? Oh, I can. 
If I mark for deconstruction. What if I mark these for deconstruction and then cancel? I saw I saw the belt move ever so slightly. But no, that doesn't seem to do it. Is this not going to be possible to fix remotely without, like, Spidertrons or something? Bots. Try changing the direction of the loaders. Maybe that will restart them. I don't think so. Oh, I see iron here. How did iron get here? Well, there's your problem. Sneaky. How did we get a tiny amount of iron? There's like two iron hidden in each of these, it looks like. Or maybe four. Bruh. I don't think the loader is the problem. I, I think, uh... I think we got scammed by iron. We're gonna have to go back there to get it working. That's why we... That's why we've had, like, literally no steel. Delivered by ingot. Pick a, di pick a dolly iron into... Oh, I know what I could do. Uh, I think? No, we're probably gonna need 50 iron. But if I change recipe now, it'll drop it on the floor, right? I think. Item on ground. Yeah, 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 there it is. There's the iron. And copper. Oh my god. We did it, chat. And that means there will be... That means there will be coal mining. That means there will be pyroflux. That means there will be steel ingots. That means there will be all kinds of ingots, actually. Not that we don't have a few here. Good grief. Hopeful God was faster. <laughs> Hopeful God gets the gold medal. Okay. Well, that was fun. I have no idea how such a small amount of iron got stuck in there. It was liter literally four iron, two on each belt. Alright, I think I am overdue for a bit of a break. I'm kind of blanking. So, let's do some words on stream. Start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
And there's our ingots. Oh, wait, I guess that was just a train taking the existing ingots. All mining is moving, that's what I wanted to know. Nice job, level 9. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh, we've got an awful lot of... What? How is there stone here? What? What the... I think there's stone blocking the core fragments. Well, it's only those two machines. Oh, we're full on... We're full on mineral water. Didn't we have a block... Yeah, we do have something to void mineral water here. Oh, I see. I set this too high. Alright. Uh, void it if it gets to uh, 195k. Actually, it needs a latch. Royal is a real word? Yes, it is. Uh, I think we either need a latch or we need to set this so that if we end up with three train loads of mineral water here, we're going to void it. This is the storage of last resort, all of this is. It's only for storing infinite resources. And if it gets full, we get rid of it. But if there isn't room for a train to drop off a full train load here, they won't drop off mineral water, for example. How fast does this delete mineral water? 50 per second? And even if we kept these saturated all the time, it would only be 32 per second. Alright, so that should keep core mining going. Uh, but for now, we can actually just delete the mineral water, since it is a fluid. Nice and easy. Okay. Oh, how's our power on Nalvis? I want to check on it because we increased the rate at which we fire the delivery cannons. It looks like it's been totally fine. Okay. How's our cryonite drop off here? Ooh, cargo rocket is ready to go. We've got 16k cryonite. Uh, I don't think we're going to fill it with cryonite. Before... Oh, this is never, ever going to get picked up at this rate. Because we've got... Cryonite for pickup here. It's not going to get taken. It, it's a low priority to take it to storage. And we somehow have like one train load minus four cryonite rods uh, down here. Minus eight to be precise. Uh, how about just take this over here. And this is actually the perfect opportunity to change this back to storing cryonite powder. Is that cool? That is an odd name for a station. Uh, Alright, so this is I think I was muted for a minute there. 
Uh, I forgot to check how much we're asking for. I'll probably fill this up. Definitely. Uh, 640 times 50. 32k. Cryonite powder. Only from infinite resources. Actually... Yeah, no, that should be fine, question mark. Did I think through this yesterday, or what? Yeah, no, this will be okay. Um, so, Cryonite Powder Pickup from the Infinite Source will have no encoded network ID. And when we make a block for turning Cryonite into Cryonite Powder, um, when we do a block of just this, uh, we'll set it to encoded network ID 1 for the pickup. How far are you in the science? Uh, well, we've got... We've researched almost everything with just these sciences up to Space Science Pack. And we're about to go to Hagen Orbit with a bunch of Cryonite. So that we can make Utility Science Packs. That'll be our second space-only uh, science. HP Crusher, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, is the train not going to come? It's a high priority pickup. Oh, provide stack threshold 81. I remember why I did this vaguely. But for now, we'll make it 80 until the train is scheduled. Which should just be a few seconds or so, unless there's no train available. There's definitely trains available. Um, I don't see a yellow light, but the train is coming. It took a long time for this bug to appear last playthrough. Now I'm slightly concerned. Uh, but yeah, I forget why, but um, we had to bump up the provide threshold here slightly. Otherwise, a train would come and end up 99% full and stuck. Probably because of the little tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably because of the small amount of copper that's stuck here, for example. And once that's actually saturated, it could be provide stack threshold 80 but that's fine. Alright, so that's all of our cryonite rods going into the cargo rocket. Uh, next we need to take a bunch of stuff for building. Um, the more refined manufactured things I'd like to keep in my inventory so we don't lose anything to cargo rocket uh, crashy crashy hmm we can't put greenhouses in space can we oh we can oh oh ice we should do ice which means I should have put that cryonite somewhere else oh well We've almost got another train load, I guess. Uh, let's see. Cry your night ice. Or rather, just water ice. Uh, we need cry night slush and water, if I recall. Water ice from water ice. Oh, this is drilling. Okay. That looked a bit weird. Doesn't your space base have a patch of ice? Mine did. Uh, at Nauvis? Yes. Yes, it does. But we're not going to Nauvis orbit. 
in fact, that's why I was mining ice over here. Um, which should be enough to last us quite a while, but we may as well take up some more. Uh, this is the planet orbit that we are going to. It's literally just completely desolate. There's not a single rock up here. Which means I'm going to have to go on a little journey to get some scaffolding to get started. You are moving, yes indeed. We are moving. Uh, alright. Cryonite slush. Is there any reason we want to put that into the rail network? Eventually, yes. Because... Oh, it actually goes into gamma ray detectors. And speed module 9s. Uh... Naquian... Wait, what is this? Crushed Naquatite, Beryllium... That's different. Anion exchange beads become ion exchange beads sometimes. Anyway, uh, we do use it for thermofluid. And we will have a space elevator eventually. We could probably do... I remember the build for water ice actually being pretty aggressive, pretty compact, uh, difficult to make compact and stuff. But we could probably do a cryonite slush and a water ice pickup at the same place, rather than having separate builds for the two of them. Maybe. Alright, so in that case... Slush requires uh, cryonite and sulfuric acid. We're going to have to build this next to water, and I know just the place, uh, right about here. So let's go with... Uh, where's our tank. Sulfuric acid drop off right about here. And water. I'm pretty sure we need lots of water. It's probably not even gonna... It's probably gonna be so fast that beacons are gonna be a joke, but let's let's have a look. Nice. Water... Nice. No? Oh, I think it's chemical plant. Or at least it was last time. Water... Ice. Okay. And first we need to make cryonite slush. Here it is. So, one solid, one fluid in, one fluid out. And then, what's the ratio between these? Not one to one. Uh, one to two. But that'll change with prog modules. Which means we probably shouldn't bother with the... trying to fit it under a beacon. Business. So we'll have to change the build. The ratio is going to be good later on. Uh, how fast does it consume water? 100 per second per machine. And we're going to need... Double fluid input into chemical plants, which is everyone's favourite. I remember it being really, really difficult to get the throughput for the water, like this. Um, to the point where we'd have, like, pumps like this, I think. Uh, 
Whereas the Cryonite Slush is literally a hundred times slower. And on the opposite side, it's the water. Uh, that needs to be fast. So how fast would this be? 1.6k water, only 16 crinite slush. Uh, we need half as many of these, right? That's the correct ratio. Uh, let's see. Crinite slush. I think we'll... It's one fluid in, one fluid out, but also solids. I'd like to see if I can do it like this, and that'll be nice and neat coming from here. I'm pretty sure the input sulfuric acid is slow, it's extremely slow, so we can do what we want with the pipes. And we need room for... physical input. How fast do we get ice out of this? One per second. Some yellows will be fine. Alright, so this is how much? 16 per second ice. Yeah, this is actually going to be a bigger build than I thought. Let's go for 20. Which means we need two more of these. I believe. Perfect. I think maybe this will more nicely. Oh, we've got five, so it doesn't matter. Um, how about, how about we just do it like this? That seems pretty good. So we can have the granite rods coming in like so. Oops. That actually looks pretty good. And we'll have to do an even unloader from here. Uh, actually, we could probably do it like this. The rods themselves are quite slow two per second for the whole thing. There is an underground pipe missing. Uh, yes, there is. So we can let the delivery cannon chest do the balancing. And... Unloading. Underground pipe missing. This one? Are you winning? I think so. What's our rate? Less than one per second. Output? What about it? four machines. It's fluid output only. 
Let's test it. Not that I think we're finished, but we'll make sure that what we've got so far is good. Actually, just this would have been fine. Ryanite rod. And it needs some power. Substation doesn't really fit anywhere. And it's one off from covering all of this. Feels bad. And then... Down here? Or how about this? And then we need water from somewhere. Uh, how much water do we need here? 2,000. That's not actually that fast yet. We're not using modules. But modules will change the ratio, so we'll do the build again. Uh, fast loader. And then... Between first pair and second, can't output south. I think they can, though. Substations not symmetrical? Are they not? Oh, true. Thank you. That actually looks pretty good. And the water consumption is way slower than I thought it would be. Um, but it's still way more than fast enough that we need to put this next to the shore. So we'll do one offshore pump to support each of these. Uh, up this way. Check top four machines, the output pipe not connected to the other six. Huh? Oh, I see. And we did finally get the gas to stop coming out, showing that the machine is jammed. Okay. And that's our build. Pretty much. Finally, <laughs> indeed. Dominate. Uh, flustered Daddy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's connect this and set that to water ice provider sulfuric acid and cryonite rod I think I should probably make this a priority pickup Let's go for just a couple of train loads of cryonite, uh, sulfuric acid, uh, two train loads. Actually, let's just set it to like 75k because it takes literally one sulfuric acid to make 10 slush and Two slush to make ice. Oh, that's not that much. I mean, what, okay, what's the rate of consumption? Two per second? I think if we summon a train when there's 25k left, we'll be fine. And we'll go priority... Uh, 
uh, above normal. Fantastic. Make sure we tell LTN what we've got. And we are requesting rods, sulfuric acid, and we're throwing it into a chemical plant and making ice. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Um, I also want to output Cryonite Slush. I think I'll keep the ratio one to one. So ice is kind of a higher priority. I could just jam in a couple more over here. That might even just fit together better. Yeah, let's set it up so that there's a surplus of Cryonite Slush. Because I want... It, it fits really well. Um, and I want a... Um, Cryonite Slush surplus here so that we can export it to the rail network. It also makes this a nice even number up here. Okay. Uh, and for the Cryonite Slush output, we are simply going to put a container here. And because it's one uh, one solid, one fluid, we don't need any fancy circuitry to make sure we don't put the wrong thing in the wrong train. Take care, Dubious. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time. We do want to connect this to tell LTN what we've got. And I guess... It's actually super easy to pump the Crynite slush in here as well. Considering how slow the slush will be, uh, 24 per second max, net rate 4 per second, uh, I think this will be more than enough to just let that fill up. We don't need a, uh, we don't need like symmetrical pumps or anything. So that actually fits together quite like quite nicely. I don't like the slight asymmetry, but that's chemical plans for you. Uh so if we did have water here Uh, I guess I'll put it here. We would be getting ice like so. And this will be ice and slush. This won't be a solution long term. Uh, when we do start consuming slush for like coolant, this will be way too slow, but we'll have it like already for convenience for certain builds. Okay. Uh, I think that just about covers it. Except for the name here. Cryonite slush. As well as ice. I think that's our build. All right, blueprint. Snap to grid eighty six twenty four. Uh, water, ice. Whoops, that's cosmic water. Water, ice, and cryonite slush. Ice plus slush. 
snap to grid looks good. And let's put it down here somewhere. Alright, so that's definitely going to go here. Actually... I think we might be able to fit a Cryonite mine here at the same time. Well, I'm sure we have a block that makes that possible. Oh yeah, it's not getting in the way of the mine at all. That's beautiful. Let's do that. How many chemical plants do I have? 17. We require... 32. Do I have some more here? Mm, nope. Never chemical plant. Feels bad. Uh, can we stop with belts? Actually? No? Okay. <laughs> No more belts, only chemical plants. How are you still making blue belt? Oh, right. I forgot there's four things that we have to switch there. Alright, we have... It's hard to see because it keeps flickering, flickering around. I actually don't know how many chemical plants. It's not finishing one before it changes. Oh, I see what's happening. Because 111 pipes are getting shoved into here. Alright. Settings, mud settings, crafting combinator. Uh, five seconds. We can at least get one of these built. I think it's six. I think we were just short of crafting two at once. Oh, that was actually three in a row. Fantastic. Okay, let's go build what we can. And we'll come back for the chemical plants. Slushies, indeed. Where are you going to use the slush apart from making the ice and using it in thermofluid? I think I saw another use somewhere. Oh, uh... Slush. Gamma ray detector, for example. Before we get too serious about Cryonite Slush, potentially we'll be doing that. And it'll be just super... and like... Oh, not this one. That's not for a while. We can make lubricant with heavy oil. With far less heavy oil. I don't really see myself doing that. Uh, maybe the slush output from that one was unnecessary. It's fine. All right, we have some chemical plants for each. We also need... It's actually a lot further up here than I thought to get to the water. Might even need to add a pump to make the water go fast enough. Uh, offshore pun. Offshore pun. Both of these don't line up. That's just cruel. Da 
Let's get a substation over here. See how fast it pumps once we start making cryonite at full sp uh, slush at full speed. Oh, we already have the sulfuric acid. How do I make a delivery cannon chest with heat shielding? That's way down here or here. easier just to make it in space than trying to keep it supplied from a planet. Well, we have to do the ice here anyway. Or at least we need ice uh, made from cryonite, which is on the planet. Uh, let's see. Bulk rail loader, actually. One less thing you need to keep track of. Yeah, but this was so easy to add. It was literally just a couple of pipes me as well. Alright, let's go pick up stuff from the old bot network. And yes, we will be getting ele uh, elevators, absolutely. A thousand percent. Oh, there's our heat shield. What was I trying to bake? Delivery cannon chests. Now we need steel chests. Uh, we're all out of steel plate here. And I'm not gonna bring more. We'll start phasing this place out. Did you manage to make a platform in orbit? I was out running when you found out there were no rocks in orbit. Uh, we're almost there. I'm just... I just put off going to space a little bit because I wanted to uh, bring ice as well. But I could just take it from Nalvis. We've already got like a chest over there in orbit. Or maybe not a chest. Half a chest of water ice. Oh, we should definitely take the science up. That's going to take up a bit of space. All right, let's uh, let's do that. And drop a chest so that we can make room in our inventory. Um. Do I have chemical plant? No. Alright, let's go... I need... I need rocket fuel. Or something. Where's our depots? Here they are. Let me just steal some fuel. Your previous playthrough was 0.5, this is correct. With no K2. We want the science. And I should have switched off my bots. Good grief. Uh, where's the rest of the science? Oh, don't tell me. I think it was only the rocket tech cards I brought. Because they're so much uh, more expensive than the rest. So I don't actually have the other sciences here, I don't think. Tech card, green. No results on this surface, okay. I could go to Nalvis itself while we're at it. You have to go to Nalvis anyway? Yeah, I have to go to Nalvis orbit. 
Um, I don't necessarily, or I didn't necessarily have to go to Nalvis, or so we thought. But I could go ahead and fill a rocket, a rocket up with tech cards. While we're there. Um, okay. So that was really all of the... All of the signs that we're taking up. I haven't made braille blocks for any of the sciences over here yet. That's going to be a whole process. But we're literally looking for like 150 utility science. Or 250, I think, to get logistics. Um, so I think I should definitely go and steal some. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's in orbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of it in orbit. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay. So I'll bring a bunch of this over when I go in the spaceship. Um, we've got an hour left. We don't have to rush too much. But I don't think we're going to physically get the utility signs done today. If I wait to fill this rocket up with some good stuff. So, why don't we just go? Hagen Orbit? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one thing I definitely want to take, which is not that hard to get together. I mean, it's much harder to get together up there. Let's get ourselves a cargo landing pad. It's basically just a ton of steel and concrete and ten radars. Do I have radars here? Don't think so. What do we need? Small electric automation core, stone, and concrete? Uh, steel, rather. Alright, let's go back to our mall. Ah, the uranium again. Isn't the cargo pad in robo range? You could add belts remotely. Um, I guess. It would be a bit of a nuisance, but I suppose we could do it. It would be less of a nuisance than actually going back to Nalvis. And we do have belts and inserters and everything automated, so... It's going to be... Grand Spaghetti. But, yeah, we could do it. Considering we don't have too many bots there, it would definitely be preferable. Tips and tricks, etc. Can you give us five minute talk about what... What you know about blueprints? Oh. Um... Blueprint tips? Well... Let's say you have something like... Oh wait, I don't have enough stuff right now. Let's say you have something like this that you want to repeat. And you're going to have to do this 30 times. Uh, real quick, you can just go snap to grid relative, drag that around, um, and then just delete the blueprint after it. It's definitely worth the trouble of deleting the blueprint. Uh, as for... The only other thing I can think of that's not, like, fairly ob obvious is if you have a snap to and you hold shift and click... Uh, you can actually drag this around to adjust the grid position, the offset. Um, which, you know, I'd only played Factorio for 200,000 hours before someone showed me that. Witchcraft. 
you can always go select new contents for a blueprint. Um, but not if you're using the bulk rail loader mod. Or rather, if the bulk rail loaders are horizontal as opposed to vertical, that won't work. That run really took me a while to find out, indeed. Conby, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 1400 hours and still that's new to me, indeed. Another magic is to make the grid box smaller and make it repeatable pattern which overlaps. Oh yeah, you could do that. Um, I guess an example would be if we do this. Uh, whoa, that's a bit off. Um, but the idea was that's wrong. Uh, what was I trying to do here? Probably snap to grid. Uh, width three, height nine. I bet if we do that. Yeah, we're going to end up with something like that. Even though this is our blueprint. You can do the shift and use arrow keys live as well when it's in your hand. Is this what you mean? No, it doesn't seem to be doing it. Those train blocks, though, what kind of relative is that? Oh, it's snap to grid absolute. Um, the reason I'm doing that, I've never bothered with that before. Lots of people like to do it for rail blocks, or rail in general. Uh, but the reason I am doing it this time is space elevators. When we build a space elevator, it's we're not going to get to choose where it appears up in space. Um, it's just going to uh, it's just going to appear at the exact same coordinates on that other surface and I want it in the middle of a rail block probably or maybe four of them per, per rail block for input and output that could be good uh, free beer Freddy thank you for the follow Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. City box is a nice example of a grid pattern which overlaps. This is true. Oh, oh, this is this is one that took me a while to figure out. Um, if you look closely where the green dotted line is, you can see it's not perfectly in the middle of the rail block because that's impossible. Because if I offset this by 25, 25, which is exactly in the middle, it'll just say grid position and blueprint position coordinates need to be either all even or all odd because we've got rail. Um, so it won't let you do that, but it doesn't actually matter if it's perfectly centered for the, um, for the offset. As long as it's consistent um, with your other blueprints. Uh, that's about everything I can think of that's not, you know, fairly obvious. We have 165 chemical plants. Beautiful. Let's turn on all of our other uh, auto targets. That's all of them. And chemical plants. How many do we need to finish the build up here? Uh, 15. Not a whole lot. Try holding using shift WASDA. Whereabouts? 
where, where am I holding shift wise to? Just unlocked space elevators. Nice. That's a milestone and a half. Uh, okay, let's finish this build. We need a lot of underground pipe. I don't think I even have underground pipe here. Uh, it should be here. I think. Pipe. Say 500. I don't suppose we're going to get that as a high priority. Not before belts, that's for sure. Can we handcraft some? Yeah, I think we can. Seems good. Did we already do all of the straight belt? Uh, straight pipe, rather? I think so. I want to see this build going at full tilt to see if we need to, or how many pumps we need to add for the water. I don't have my bots on me. Uh, are they over here? Yes, they are. It's fine. Blue belt can hide for the moment. Oh my god, there's still more. Oh, oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. That's a lot of steel pumps. That's probably a little bit unnecessary. You think? I have made it T-Hacks friendly? Wait, what? For rails, you generally want absolute position, but for example, have blueprints with miners. Click it on outpost, hold and drag. It will align based on first click. That's relative. Yes. Uh, snap to grid relative, I think, should be the default. That's a lot more intuitive to me. Um, but to each their own. How many inserters are we missing here? 17. Rude. And what about pipe? 15. Oh wait, we've got the pipe. Get out of here. And maybe the inserters? Not the inserters. Feels bad. Still working on getting the red space signs up and running. I think it's because of rail. Rails are 2x2 two two grid. Yes, it is. I don't use snap to global at all. Part laziness, part kind of feels kind of clunky. I am liking it for the rail grid, I have to admit. Um, but I wouldn't have used it if not for the space elevators. Wrong chronological order. Nani? Okay, uh, let's continue, shall we? What do we got left to build here? Just four pipes and some inserters? Wait. We've got... Wait, what? Oh, is it... No? Oh, am I simply out of range of it? That's probably why. Okay. All right, good joke. Uh, do we not have water? We do not. Why do we not have water? We should have water. No, we, we have water. We just don't have slush. Why don't we have... Oh, because there's no cryonite. Because cryonite is really slow. Um... There's almost enough here, but 
Yeah, this is this build can deal with a lot more than the core fragments are giving us. 80 powder per second, actually. Um, I might just steal some cryonite from here. Oops. Ten slush for one broad. See if the water can keep up. We're already running out of the rods, though. That was nowhere near enough. Um, but it does look like the water can manage, actually. Mm, no, it can't. Oh, that's slush. Yeah, it looks like all of these machines are going pretty consistently. Uh, none of them have reached the point where the missing inserters matter. Oh, there's just one missing inserter, I think. How many? Zero. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, surprisingly enough... Oh, it is only, only a thousand water on each side. Still, I'm actually surprised... Oh, I guess it's not that many pipe sections. Uh, one, two... And then... Ten pipe sections before we find a pump. And it's kind of saturating this... And then this one can catch up sometimes. Yeah, no, this looks like it's keeping up easily. What's this mod, Pyanodons? Uh, space Exploration plus Crastorio 2, mostly. Aero, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, should we jump into space? Even though we're going to waste a bunch of a cargo rocket. Um... I kind of would like to get on with it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's literally no reason to take belt that isn't space belt. So we won't fall for that. Uh, inserters we're definitely taking... All of this is fine, but I would like to uh, pick up the research, uh, the rocket tech cards, and I don't mind losing certain other things as much. Do these work in space? No. Also, why do I even have stone furnaces? Uh, these don't work in space either. Get out of here. This actually does work in space, but we won't be putting it there just yet, I don't think. Um, alright. We could make space rail with rail that we have. Yeah, let's uh, let's fill it with what rail we do have. Even reading the title would reveal some info. Indeed. Okay. Um. That's. Oh, we actually sort of ran out of rail here. Yeah, time to start moving away. I mean, we have been moving away from this old uh, bot spaghetti. Bot spaghetti? Is that a thing? It is now. Wind in space? 
Yes, obviously. The cosmic wind. Uh, I want to hold on to the inserters. I'm going to feel their absence sooner than other things, I think. Okay. Let's head in. Wait, 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 wait. Life support. And we've got plenty of fuel. Alright, we're holding on to everything that's relatively precious. Uh, let's head into Hagen Orbit. For the second time. Also, isn't this... Oh, I haven't actually anchored this to Hagen, uh, Hagen Orbit. Uh, we'll do that after we launch. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Um... We want a cargo landing pad before we go. A thousand concrete, a thousand steel, and a few radars is what we need. And I keep going too far in one direction or another, going back to the mall. Okay, concrete, steel... A little bit more steel, and some radars. I need five radars, I think, before I can make this. Ten, actually. Automation cores. Yesterday I was charged $10,000 for sending my cat into space. It was a cat astro fee. Oh no. Beldak, thank you for the bits. Much appreciated. A cat astro fee. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Can we handcraft this now? Uh, nope. We need more steel. Because we spent some on the radar. There we go. I could take some more green circuits. Uh, and stone brick. Oh, <laughs> he brought damsel out of hiding just to chastise you for that. Oh, it's directly north of the mall. I should have remembered that. Pank? Oh, wow. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, we're definitely taking the cargo landing pad. You can only lose a fraction of a stack, so it's perfectly safe to put this in the cargo rocket. And I think we'll go, if only to stop procrastinating. Alright, destination, Hagen Orbit. Uh, general vicinity, because we don't have any landing pads. And manual trigger, we're ready to go. Fantastic. I forgot life support. I'm pretty sure I know where my life support is, and it's not in my inventory. But that's okay. We'll stay inside the space capsule. We can't do that. Let's get our uh, spaceship to anchor to Hagen orbit, not Hagen. Oh, it's not at Hagen orbit, technically. It's a few seconds away. Please don't, please don't suffocate yet. I think I've got a little bit of life support left over from, like, the last life support item uh, that I consumed. Alright, here we go. Anchor to Hagen Orbit. Let me in, let me in. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Came out of REM sleep to ban Valdek for that. 
That would be Alpel. Oh no. Uh, we're gonna put. Actually, no, no, no. Bot, stop, 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 stop. I don't want you picking this up. Uh, let me put this in here, actually. Take a big breath. I'll leave these inserters here as well. We're gonna go pick up some more. All of this crap. Uh, I'm carrying way too many rail signals right now. All of this can go in storage for the moment. And we're gonna go back to Nalvis Orbit. And come back with... Maybe I should stash this so we've got more storage space. Or maybe I should just put more chests down as well so we have more storage space. It's going to cost a bit more fuel, but that's okay. Um, so let me grab everything in here. And put it all in the same place. We don't need wind turbines. Probably shouldn't have brought those up. Um, spaceship walls. Floors. Holmium accumulators. Pylon. That is loud. I need to fix that. Where would an astronaut park their spaceship? A parking meteor. A parking meteor? <laughs> Uh, Veldak, thank you so much for the extra biddies. Um, let me just fix the volume on that real quick as well. Or, do, do you guys hear it particularly loud, or is it just me? A parking meteor. Lovely. It's a tad loud. Okay. Let's fix that. I definitely had it set up okay before. I don't know what's going on now. Uh, alert box? Bits? Volume is on 4%. How about 2%? Maybe I need to change the volume in OBS itself somewhere. It's louder than you for sure. The first one woke me up. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, I literally just changed it from 2% to 4%. How about if I... Alert box properties... There's no volume slider here. I, I've got it literally as low as I can put it without putting it on 0% on the web settings. Saturn's name is the best in our solar system. It has a nice ring to it. Uh, I'm guessing... I'm guessing that plays through OBS. So if I drop OBS's volume... Okay. I'm gonna do a test. There we go. Okay. This is a test bit alert. Well, the text to speech is, feels about the same, to be honest. Oh wait, I need to save settings here. This is a test bit alert. Last one. Okay. Well, we know I can adjust it that way. This is a test bit alert. Better now, yeah. Okay, uh, we are headed for Nalvis Orbit. Let's go. ETA is probably like 15 minutes, 10 minutes. We won't know until we hit max speed. Actually, I think I set this to only go 20 because we've got like one solar panel, one laser, 
and we're way out here where we're getting like okay it's it it's hard to say how much solar power why haven't aliens come to our solar system yet they read the reviews one star one star oh my goodness thank you veldak for the bits was it my imagination, or was that way louder than the test still? Uh, what's our ETA here? 30 minutes? But it's okay. Sound adjustments worked. Okay, thank you. I don't know when that would have changed. Maybe a new version of OBS? Maybe my volume mixer for Windows, put it back to default volume. That could have been it. Good volume? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good volume, but boo held back. <laughs> Alright, we are slowly creeping towards Nalvis orbit because we are starting way out here. And we're running on solar panels. Or a solar panel, literally. Uh, our speed is 10. Our target is 20. So we're very much bottlenecked on solar. I don't really have a whole lot I can be doing... Oh, yes I do. We could start... Uh, we could start belting science over here. The most obvious, easy one to do would be rocket tech cards. Um, unfortunately, I can't design the spaghetti without the bots actually doing it. So let's not start with the loader. We don't really need blue belt, but the undergrounds might be handy. Might be very, very handy, actually. That doesn't quite work out. Let's go up here. Underground spaghetti. Not like that. How about... No belt weaving, that's a sin. Okay, um, we have a path for rocket tech cards. Get out and push? That's actually an option in Kerbal Space Program. Just a little bit. It's rather difficult and slow, but you can do it. And then this one can go up here. I... Oh, that's unfortunate. Wow, that's really unfortunate for a blue belt to not reach. Then down here. Fantastic. We're going to leave room for some logic. Um, I guess if we put a loader like this, uh, that'll work. It's only pasting it to put something into a building that we're going to have to be a bit more tricky. Belt weaving for the best Italian factories. Spaghetti is a great byproduct, indeed. Crystal Chan, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then we have green, which I think. Oh, yeah, that's going to work well. Our path is pretty clear here.
Uh, so that's three out of... It's only red, green, blue, and yellow that we want to send, right? Maybe military science as well? Um, but yeah, military... Oh. Military science we can definitely send around. Let's get these mostly done. Wait, what? Uh-oh. This goes here, actually, which means this goes back here, and so on. Okay. That should be enough to get... Not red. We need red. Why can we squeeze red through? Here? Mm, yes, yes we actually can. Okay. Corner... Like so. Corner... Like so. That's not going to reach across. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Damn it. Let's put these here. And... Uh, this one wants to go this way. How about like this? And bring this back as far as... Okay, I think that's it for everything but the military. You really don't want to see the very special ways I weave belts. Very special. Uh-oh. And where are we going to squeeze this through? Probably up this way. Yeah, that's going to be easy, actually. Does that not reach? Oh, whoops. It's fine. Um, I don't think we can fit one more here unless we do something like that. This would go here. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. It's just gonna have to spaghetti like so. I think that lines up pretty well. And I think that's it. What happens to Veldike when he approaches a black hole? Total spaghettification? Oh no. Only some item types are unloadable by default. Wait, what? 
I'm confused. My trains can't load slash unload copper plates or stone bricks via the bulk rail loader slash unloader. Oh yeah, I think there were some mud settings that I said nuts to that. It's something like ore only. Ore and stone and stuff, I think. No Afro? Uh, no Afro? Lutharian? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Quitia to eight. Oh, that name. That unpronounceable name. Good to see you again. Okay, do we have a mill science? We do. Beautiful. Um, if I... If I use loaders, then it's going to overshoot a specific target. It should overshoot it by a very specific amount. So I could probably... Oh, I just realized. We don't have automatic supply of cargo rocket... Uh of space capsules here. So this was a bit moot, except that it'll be easier when I go back. Well, that's fine. How close are we? 11 minutes to Nalvis orbit. It's going to accelerate as we get closer, but damn. Here we go into the asteroid belt. We're not going to get uh, utility signs today, but we will have all the ground, uh, groundwork laid so that we can get a few hundred or thousand utility signs once we get back to Hagen orbit. I need to do... Hmm. We could do some designing. For one thing, I could design blue circuits uh, while we're here, but I was just thinking I could actually do space rail. I think it'll let me put down space rail. You can put it on the ground, right? So it won't care if I put it in this place. Nice. Let's do our rail block. And for that, I'm going to need... There's no, like, upgrade planning this. So we're going to have to need to, like, tear up rail and replace it. And this doesn't work. All right. We have a deconstruction planner for straight rail. So that part's easy enough. Looks kind of weird. Uh, or at least parts of this are easy enough. We only really need to get one quarter of it right before copy pasting the rest of it. Yeah, let's do half of it. it. Might be easier. Okay, we need to fix this. How about we just decon straight rail like so? And then put it back. Actually, if we rem this might be easier if we remove all of this straight rail. Um we should hopefully be able to see where it goes. And then we'll remove the curved rails bit by bit. Sorry it was AFK for a while, but couldn't this be done by an upgrade planner? Unfortunately, no. Um, there is actually an online tool now that I think of it. Maybe I'll use that. I'll do this off stream. 
regardless. Uh, there is an online tool that will force swapping entity X for entity Y in the blueprints. I think you can use that to upgrade space rail. Uh, I don't remember where it is. I've got it on the Discord somewhere, I believe. Uh, let's let's do blue circuits instead. I'll just check how far we are in our journey. Seven minutes until we get to Nalva's orbit. That is going to accelerate a bit, so probably like six, five or six. Uh, Zay Den, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I got your rail block for space already. Should I send it? Wow, that was fast. Uh, sure. Daria. Much appreciated, thank you. The rails don't even connect to each other? Wait, what? Oh, because I was messing with them. Uh, so it's nothing but... Rare metals, sulfuric acid, and something? The blue circuits now? Oh, and advanced circuit. That's super easy. Let's do... Well, first of all, let's see what kind of rate we need. Before we have... Uh... Beacon, that is. Whoops. Probably easier to do. We're only going to need one belt in and out, I think. Since we only have two solids for input, we don't need any long arm inserters. Uh, we don't need any sushi belt or anything fancy this time. Oh, I forgot. Not like chemical plants, we can't do the paired inputs here. There isn't a way to leave room for an inserter unless we do a long arm. Long arms are probably sufficient until we get a beacon. I think I looked at super inserters, superior inserters. And... What are we at? Material 2, Astro 2. Whereas wide area beacon 1 is energy 2. Well, they're not far away from each other, but they're different. They're actually sort of the same tech level, but they're different. Hmm. I can't quite fit fluid input on the inside. Well, if I just move these out a bit further, it should be fine, right? We can have... Oops. Fluid in... It's either going to be... Maybe we could do fluid like this. And have input and output on the same side. Especially because we know how slow processing units are. We could definitely do long arms for the output. No matter how beaconed it is. Let's do that. Okay, it's in the Discord now. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Blueprints. Space blocks. Space rail block. Copy. And... Just do a save real quick. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, import string. Uh, we're like one off with the snap two, but yes, that is it. Beautiful. Very nice, thank you. I 
kind of like the octagon substations, except for how it picks just two directions for the Ys in the middle. Apparently there's a mod called Upgrade Planner Next that will allow replacing any entities. Very impressive. Very nice. How's our space trip going? Two minutes out from Atlas. How fast are we? 20. We've reached our target. I don't want to risk going any faster because it's not like... I didn't even bring any walls in case we crashed. Uh, that could have been a disaster. Good thing I only set it to go 20. That's pretty cool. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, wait, that's an odd number. No, it's not. What did I miss? There we go. And output, like so. And output like so. It's going to be a bit more spacious and a bit more belt than we would otherwise like, but that's okay. Uh, it's not spilling over into the other side. Let's put that there. And I think delivery cannon chest should be fine for this. Why don't we just merge it all like this because it's never going to be more than like half a belt. Even with uh, beacons later on, I'm pretty sure. And we'll do the thing where we can take from it with just a short train. But first we should probably make sure we have our input sorted. Let's see, two physical, one uh, fluid. Sulfuric acid, like so. And then... Uh, the throughput's going to be super slow, right? The, s the fastest thing is 18 per second, which is a bit more than half a red belt. Half of one red belt. So I think if we have our 2x2, two two, we'll do this pattern again. Like, wait, how did I do this? Um, good question. How did we lay this out earlier? This is what I'm looking for. I guess on this side, but I'll flip this around. Oh, we're here. Let's go to Nalvis Orbit. Can't snap this to the middle of the, the spaceship dock. Let's just put it up here. And I don't suppose there's any life support that I left here for some reason. Nope. I guess we'll suffocate. Uh, the 
most important thing I need to steal here is our scaffolding. Put that in there for now. We also should take all of the science, especially any type other than rocket tech, because we already have some. Let me in. We'll take the labs, actually, even though we'll lose a little bit. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, well. Uh, lubricant barrels wouldn't hurt. I see used life support canister. I think I'm about to start suffocating. Wait a minute. How many seconds do you have without life support? I don't know. Alright, low science. Um, bit more science over here. I think we're going to run out of room for science alone. But I think I will take all of the science as top priority. And after that, I'm not sure. I'm definitely stealing this capsule. And let's sit in here while we think about what we're taking with us. Uh, we have like 18... I could drop some stuff, but we've got like 18 or so stacks that we can take. Blue chips, if they're here. Oh, I could take the fancy belt. It's a really small amount of it, but... Well, it's not that small. Okay, yeah, let's take the fancy belt. Particularly if it happens to come in useful in, like... A one-off build. That'd be nice. Did we pick it all up? My inventory is completely full, but apparently we did. There's an LDS on the ground. And I have a single LDS in my inventory for some reason. Space manufacturing? Uh, that's a good idea, yes. And decontamination facility. Definitely the lubricant barrels, uh, as I said, but I don't have that much room. I can drop off the strong boxes, steel chests, passive providers. Those are all very easy to make. Uh, space pipe? We can make it on site. Can't we? Space pipe. How hard is this? Copper cable, plastic, glass, steel. Yeah, we can just have Nalvis send us that. So no, no space pipe. Uh, I shouldn't have been holding on to some of this stuff. I think we need assembly two to help make this. No, we don't. I definitely should have cleared my inventory out a bit more thoroughly before I came up here. Got some low value stuff in our inventory here. I can make delivery cannon chests whenever. Actually, how do we make delivery cannon chests? Steel, concrete, heat shield, radar, that's a yes. Alright, we definitely don't need to carry electronic components. Or processed fuel that I didn't even mean to click on. Um, blue circuits are kind of premium, a little bit. 
but lubricant is more important. Uh, actually, I didn't bring the blue circuits that I should have. Do we need heavy oil? We can turn it into lubricant. Batteries. Uh, what, what are batteries for up here in the short term? Signal transmitter? Okay, yes. At least one stack of batteries I should have. Ice. We need ice. I might even add some more storage. Uh, if I remove the constant combinator, we can fit another chest. And we'll have to manually set this to target speed 20. Uh, let's grab that chest from here. Single LDS. Uh, I was carrying one, yeah. Is this one of your abandoned outposts? This is Nalvis Orbit, where we put together the minimal amount of stuff to get a bunch of rocket science done. Uh, and now we're moving to uh, Hagen Orbit, which is going to be our main orbital base in time. Walk Newell? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm really surprised how long it's taken that I haven't had any trouble with uh, with life support yet. Why do you move? Uh, a few reasons. So, first of all, there's more stuff, there's more types of things on Hagen than Nalvis. That's not the top reason, it's like the first thing that came to mind right now. Uh, the radius is smaller, so it costs less uh, to get into space. The uh, spaceships follow a path from the interstellar map of going along these lines. And you'd be surprised, uh, intuitively and realistically, the distance, if we go from Nalvis orbit to some planet, uh, let's say in Basilius, from Calidus to Basilius, you would think 99% of the distance traveled would be in interstellar space, but actually the space uh, covered in the solar system is surprisingly a big chunk of it. Um, so starting closer to the interstellar map is actually kind of a big deal. I would go to the asteroid belt, or rather, no, I'll, I'll get to this, but there's a there's a place that we're going to go. Um, I would set, a, set up a main base there, but there are things that we can only do on a planet if we want productivity bonuses. Well, and there are probably things we can only do on a planet, not to mention, like get water to begin with. Um... Later on, we're going to be exploiting a anomaly, which is equal distances to all uh, all interstellar destinations. So uh, it's actually very close. So to go from Hagen to the interstellar map to the anomaly to somewhere else and so on, uh, we're going to use the uh, the anomaly as a midpoint for all of our journeys. Uh, it actually cuts off a huge portion of the journey if we do it that way. So confused, I love it. I want to play. Uh, basically, we're, we're going to we're going to the shadow realm and back every time. And it's a very short trip. It's so short that it's probably... It might even be shorter than going straight from Calidus to Calmea. To go from Calidus to the Anomaly to Calmea 
to the anomaly to Calidus. Um, it's like 10,000 distance from anywhere to the anomaly, which is really short compared to uh, interstellar distances. If we look at the delta V from Nalvis orbit to, say, Anchorus, uh, it is 36,551. Um, that's most of... Like, if, if we use the anomaly to ping back and forth between here and there, uh, that's actually most of the return journey already. Uh, so yeah, a few reasons that we're migrating to Hagen. Oh, we got drills. That might be convenient. Not in space, though. Um, there's a whole lot... Ooh, there's more heavy oil here. I don't know about the water barrels since we have ice. We'll think about that as a low priority, kind of. Uh, lubricant, heavy oil... Yeah, I think I'll drop the water barrels. Oh, we've got some advanced machines here. That'll help. I'll leave the cargo rocket sections here in case I want to come back and forth with the space capsule. Oh, we got more scaffolding. Not worried about a recycling facility. Give me those walls. Give me that space rail. Deep transport belt. Uh, I don't think we need cliff explosives in space. Probably. Let's see what we can fit. Can I come over this way and do a shift C? Nope, I dropped things over here. Why do we have water ice in here? And what did I drop over here? Holmium accumulator, solar panel... Uh, that's not scaffolding, that's scrap. Okay. I think that's just about all of it. Space rail. I think shift C doesn't necessarily just fill things that are already in that chest. Oh, I should use a uh, factory search. Make sure we got all of these data cards. Fantastic. Okay. Fish, indeed. Thanks for explaining. I never moved in my five runs so far. Maybe this time I'll do it. Nice. Free beer, Freddy. Oh, 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 the space manufacturing. All right, is that about everything? If I take the space manufacturing? I've still got a few stacks available. Uh, whoops, that can just stay there. Probably... Probably more ice, to be honest. Oh, we could take the radar construction. I don't want to leave this place just not powered. Then again... Uh, it'll fill up with ice, at least. Blue circuits? We don't need heat shielding. We can that get that by delivery cannon, and we've got a rocket pointed at us for that. Small electric. LDS. Uh, constant combinator. Maybe greenhouses. Okay, I don't think it gets much better than this. 
It feels weird that we can put a basic beacon up here. Oh, we can't actually make basic beacon. This is the only one. I don't think I care that much. Or do I? What can I drop? Recycling facility? Oh, I can put things in my trash slots. But we've got bots here. Um... What if we didn't have bots here? There we go. That's going to gain a few inventory slots. Oh, now we're suffocating. Okay. Uh, what's that? Iron plate. We're not suffocating very fast. I'll take more big electric motors. Those are one of the harder things to make up here early on. We've still got a few slots over here. Alright, give me more of that. Fantastic. Oh, green circuits? Nah, we can send iron and copper anytime. And stone brick. Gives you a few minutes, yeah. Alright, I think that's it. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Actually, let me just launch back to Hagen Orbit. I could jump down to Nalvis and do some stuff, but I think I would rather go back and start building before we do that. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And let's see who is streaming Factorio. Diablo? It's been a minute since I raided Diablo. I don't see any SE and or K2. Oh, yes, I do. We raided Andy yesterday, though. I think we'll drop by Diablo today. And uh, thank you for the follow, Blatty Bob. Take care, JP, Night Dancer, uh, Westiax, Bidless Dane. But has it been seven minutes? <laughs> yes, it has. Okay, I am the Sky. Take care. And. Uh, Away we go. Seven. No, I did it again. No, I did it correctly. Seven PM. The Central European time. Um, since Anchovy Pizza to Diablo's radio station. For him to enjoy during his next show, that's never going to happen. Mr. Tyrannosaurus Hex. Hello, sir. <laughs> I think you can see what's going on here. But I do appreciate it, sir. The preview, <laughs> preview pain was not ending. Was not the ending card. I apologize, sir. I've just, just ended my stream well.